Good evening, ladies and gents. Welcome to the channel. Why am I starting a stream with only a third of a cup of tea? This is a bit of a ridiculous start. But uh, we'll see. Maybe in uh, cruise I can nip downstairs and grab some, some stuff. So, Okay, let me just bring up the live stream. There we go. <clears throat> okay. So, folks, uh, let's just open this up here. So, we are at Amsterdam Schiphol in the Dash 8. And what is that making a racket behind me? Is that me making that racket? Yes, that's me making that. That's, that's the GPU. Okay. Um, oh, uh, we need some heat, heat, and heat. And he's going to need some heat as well. It's already open. And we have our gear pins. Let's, let's start that. Let's start the stream with the fact that we have gear pins. That's a good idea. Okay, so we're on the GPU, we are sitting on the ground at Amsterdam, the weather is absolutely horrible. Um, we are going to fly over to East Midlands on Vatsim, and when we get to East Midlands we're going to pick up Ian Fisher, and then Ian Fisher and myself are going to uh, share cockpit the Dash 8 from East Midlands to Jersey this evening. So that's the plan, so we're doing a little bit of a mini line flight. There's a, a jumbo taking off on 2-4, I believe that is. He's going to start rolling soon. Um, so we have pretty much a fully staffed uh, Amsterdam. A short taxi to runway 2-4. Yes, that is runway 2-4. Uh, a short taxi to runway 2-4, so that shouldn't be a problem. No 1-8 no, uh, left or no, sorry, no 1-8 right taxi. So 1-8 uh, left isn't that far, but 1-8 right is... There's, there is some random thing taking off, and there's a Lufthansa without any gear. My goodness, model matching. What is it? What is it with life? Why are we having these issues? Okay, never mind. Um, <clears throat> so let's just have a look at the weather report. Weather report is winds variable at two knots, ranging from uh, zero 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 to three six zero, so basically north. Visibility two point five statute miles or four thousand meters. Clouds few at four hundred feet, overcast at a thousand, scattered at twelve hundred, broken at two thousand eight hundred. About an hour ago, it was pretty much overcast from a thousand feet to three thousand feet. So that sounds like it's petered out ever so slightly. Uh, I'm not flying with uh, real-world time set on because uh, one thing that I have at the moment is if you see the frame rates right now are roughly about 20 frames a second, which for an average simming experience I consider to be sufficient. See, actually 25 frames a second now that I pan away from the buildings there. So roughly 25 frames a second 26 frames a second now, 27. Um, we are running this live stream. This is the first official live stream I'm doing with my new RTX 2070 Super, uh, which is a huge step up from the GTX 970 that I was uh, using before. And what that means is I am now flying uh, with Netherlands, the, the Orbex True Earth Netherlands package with all of the customizable things in the config uh, checked off because when I check them on I get down like 10 FPS, it's ridiculous. But if I check them all off then I get like 30 FPS, it's ridiculously nice. So um, that's what I'm running. I'm running the, uh, the True Earth Netherlands scenery package which I bought way back when when it was on discount and was never able to fly it until now because I didn't have 
the graphical capabilities to, to fly it smoothly. So here we are in the Dash 8, Majestic Dash 8, which is not, this is no piece of freeware. The Dash 8, although it's optimized very well, the Dash 8 um, is fairly, fairly heavy on, on uh, the CPU and on, uh, on certain things. <coughs> so, hello Dreams of Wings, good to see you sir, and Captain OK Will. OK we, OK we, OK, OK we, good to see you. Um, so, yes, we have some things set up. I was spending uh, some some time today uh, configuring the dash A, configuring the scenery. So we should we should be in a solid state of affairs. Okay, so um, I'm going to be uh, let's see, but but uh, right. So here's my flight plan: uh, Amsterdam to E G N X. And uh, my call sign is Jersey 3 Lima Mike. Jersey 3 Lima Mike. Um, let's just file our flight plan in in uh, vPilot. And, oh, hello. Uh, Vatsim will be taken offline on Sunday. There we go. This is great. Vatsim Gov 1. Vatsim will be taken offline on Sunday, 13th of October, which is tomorrow at 2000 Zulu for 24 hours to launch audio for Vatsim. Make sure you followed the instructions to prepare your pilot or ATC client for the upgrade. Visit audio.vatsim.net to read more. So, um, yeah, fun. This is, I was just about to say, this is my last official um, flight simming live stream on the old Vatsim audio codec. You can see my stream is appropriately named. Um, so that's what we're doing this evening. Um, right, I was going to say, yes, let's go to flight plan. Okay, so we're going to go swap and then we're going to change that to EHAM. Departure time is going to be 8.15, I'd say, 8.9.10, that's 20.15 Zulu. Well, we're Zulu plus one at the moment, so that's 21. Are we Zulu plus one at the moment? Let's just double check. Uh, Zulu time is, is 18.76. Yes, we are Zulu plus one. So that's fine. Uh, time en route is one hour 20. And we're going to go with one hour. I'm going to go with uh, one hour 55 minutes of fuel. Cruise out. There's going to be 240. Not that much. Uh, speed is going to be 350. Uh, flight plan is there. I'm just going to copy and paste. We are not a heavy aircraft. Um, okay. Uh, that is essentially our flight plan. Let's just double, just cross checking, making sure I've got that correct. So that's 240 on the uh, altitude. That's our block fuel. It's gross weight. Yeah, okay, that looks fine. And file flight plan. So if we go on to VATSIM, uh, we don't have any ATC over England right now, but uh, we'll see what happens when we, when we get in the air. We have 19 departures, eight arrivals, and we have pretty much fully staffed fully staffed as you could possibly be. We have delivery ground tower ATIS, two approaches on, and radar. So we are going to be busy. Uh, okay, so I, I just saw your PM. I just saw your message, Dreams of Wings. No worries, man. Catch it as a YouTube video whenever it's uh, finished live streaming. So, yeah. Have a good evening, mate. Stay safe in that Spitfire. Um, right. Okay. First port of call, we need to look at ATIS. Actually, no, I'm sorry. First port of call, lol. Let us go. It's been a while since I've flown the dash. Uh, let's go to our uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba, Majestic Dash 8 control panel. Weight and balances. Weight and balances are always fun. Okay, so we are in kilograms uh, because we are in the EU. Uh, but, 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 uh, okay, so fuel. 
2967 is uh, 2967 is our takeoff fuel. Trip fuel, I'm going to say uh, 3100. Slightly more than I normally would. That's fine. Just just to give us that extra. Um, PAX is... PAX is 66. 66 PAX. So 63... Uh, 63... Uh, it's another three, so it's 13, or 66 packs. Okay, we are good. We've got 1,200 kilograms of uh, baggage. Um, so that's fine. That is... Calculate, calculate, send data to Flight Sim. Unpause. We now have those settings baked into the aircraft. So that is how that's done. Um, I would... I would roll with uh, FS to crew, but um, I haven't got that fully configured. Actually, if I press Shift Q or Shift W, no, Control Control Q, yeah, it's not coming up for me, so I haven't fully configured uh, FS to crew for this evening. But uh, nine people on the stream. Hi, folks. Say hello in the chat so I know who you are. And, uh, uh, let's just see how. It's misty. There's a whole load of aircraft waiting to take off. So. Okay, so let's go over to, now that we've got the weight and balance set in the aircraft, and we're happy, um, let's go to, yeah, let's, 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 yeah, actually, no, let's, let's, yeah, let's do the ATIS first, and talk to delivery first before we go and plan our flight plan, before we put anything into the FMS, let's talk to delivery. Uh, right, so... We need to go to the ATIS, which is uh, Eham ATIS uh, 132.975. So let's go there. That's 132.975. If I just click down once, it should flick to that. Let's have a listen. One thousand two hundred feet. Good to see you, Airborne. One thousand two hundred feet. What was that last bit? Niner. It's just cut off. Six clicks. Right. Okay. So I wanted to just double check <coughs> when when she said uh, contact, approach, and arrival. Um, call sign only. That's as I've taken off and I'm climbing out on the SID. When you go to approach, um, call sign only. That's that's what she wanted. Um, I just wanted to double double listen to that. Okay, so that is uh, Kilo, information Kilo, QNH 1009er. Uh, let's just double check. Let's cross check that on the... on the. Uh, yes, yeah, that's confirmed, 1009er. Um, so information Kilo, QNH 1009er. Dash eight, and what stand am I on? I think I'm on. Um, uh, of course, it doesn't. I believe I'm on Bravo, Bravo ninety two. Let's have a look. Uh, no, I yes, yes, I'm on a Bravo ninety two. Stand Bravo 92. Okay, so let's go over to delivery and see how busy he is. Okay, delivery is Eham delivery 121975. So let's go to 121. 
Let's just have a listen for a bit. <clears throat> Just more and more and more aircraft, my goodness. Negative. I'm tr gonna try and get over there, mate. Uh, I'm gonna be late. Ah well. Hello, Kyla. It's uh, six to information. You know, get some finished to the week. Hmm. Uh, for the yeah. Someone's hot miking. They've they Someone's transmitting non-stop. Someone's not. Who is hot miking, dude? This is not needed. Schiphol delivery, good evening, uh, Jersey 3, Lima, Mike. Uh, Jersey 3, Lima, Mike, uh, requesting IFR clearance as filed uh, with information kilo QNH 1009, uh, aircraft type dash 8Q400. Uh, currently stand Bravo 9 2. Hey, Machine Head, good to see you. Okay, unreadable. Oh, goodness sake, there's new code at Canal. He's hot miking the entire time. Okay, clear destination. Uh, Jersey uh, 3 Lima Mike, that is Valco 2 Sierra departure, runway 24, squawk 7346. Uh, Jersey 3 Lima Mike. Valco 2, he gave me Valco. One two one decimal six. Thank you. Good evening. Okay. Uh Good evening, Good evening, Kellen. Seven seven five. Uh, we're on Delta two seven with kilo clearance to Frankfurt. Okay, seven, three, four, six. Let's go change that. That's seventy three, forty six. Seven, three, four, six, and on standby. Uh, runway two, four, he gave me, and he gave me Valco two Sierra. So that's two Sierra. All right, let's get our flight plan done. And there is the rain. Uh, okay, so nav, we are going Eham. Eham. Who texted me? No, that's fine. I don't know what's going on. Uh, two E G N X. I have the new Orbex E G N X scenery as well, so that's gonna be. That's why I'm flying daytime because I want to see. Uh, yep. Okay. Flight plan. So menu departure Eham. Departure Eham. Ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Da -da -dun 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 -dun. Uh, that is going to be Valco 2 Sierra. He gave me Valco 2 Sierra. Not 1 Sierra, but I'm that's that's the best I can do. It's a Valco Sid. It's fine. Right, so what's the airway off of Valco? Valco no, it's straight to Idrid? Okay, id rid. Oh, it doesn't even know what the idrid is. That's brilliant. Idrid. Mm. 
No. Okay, fine, whatever. Screw that. Come on. Why? You will 980 to Ax Axamon. <sighs> I thought I had double checked this. Idrid. Valko. Oh, well, that's not, that's not right anyway. That's not right anyway. Uh. Okay, so let's go. Uh. Let's see. How do I get back to... Okay, new flight. E manual input. E E ham destination E G N X create. Okay. So uh runways we are going off of uh two four and departures we are going Valco uh one Sierra. Not two Sierra, one Sierra. Well okay, whatever, let's call it Valco two Sierra. Um, arrivals, let's not worry about that yet. Uh, Valka 2 Sierra, okay, add to Idrid. Okay, there's Idrid, why? Oh, that's at the end of... That's at the end. Okay, that's the end of the SID. Right, okay, I'm going to put in the rest of the SID now, so that's... That's that. Uh, insert after. Aha! Why don't I have a map? Why don't I have a map here? I don't... Add. Okay, yeah, they don't like that. Delete that. Okay. Arrivals. Uh, we'll do that later, but that's fine. So all we need to really know is that uh, Idrid goes direct to... No, we don't need two Idrids. Idrid connect... Uh, we could go... Oh, it's just give me something different than what I've given the controller. Uh, oh, goodness sake. Right. Uh... Please, just work. Goodness sake. Hmm. I don't want Valka for Echo. Okay, let's just go, let's just go with what I'm given here. Valko 2 Sierra. Let's just double check that was Valko 2 Sierra I put in. Depart. No, it needs to be Valko 2 Sierra. I only have Valco 1 Sierra. Okay, let's put in Valco 1 Sierra. Okay, Valco. Right, let's go Valco 1 Sierra and see what they do. Departures. Uh, I see. doesn't have Valka one Sierra. I don't understand why is this so difficult. <sighs> Abnet. You know what? I'm just going to put an Abnet. It doesn't even know... Oh, goodness sake. Okay, okay. D let's just simplify this. Let's just simplify this. Ibnos. Is Ibnos even in here? There's got to be something wrong here. 
There's got to be something wrong with this. Valco, okay. So Valco, list waypoint. L90, where does that take us? Let's go to examine. Because that is on our, our way. There you go. Okay, right. Lima 980. We're on we're on to roll. Lima Lima 980 now. There we go. Okay. To um to Logan. No, not Logan. It was uh, Lamborn. Uh where is Lamborn? Lam 14. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Lamborn, okay. Lima 610. Lima 610 is number 3. And that's going to Hemel. Hemel Hemstead, been there before. Uh, ta uh, Tango 420. Tango 420. Tango for Wellen. Okay. These are all familiar waypoints. And then Pigot 1 Tango Juliet. Okay, so we go menu again, arrive, E, G, and X. Except a runway is going to be 27. And that's Pigot 1 Juliet, which is number 2. And the approach is going to be the only approach that's there, which is the ILS. Excellent. Pigot is the transition. Flight plan. Excellent. Right, that is set. Uh, let's just delete that no link. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> excuse me, excuse me. We have a workable flight band, pe people. Thanks for sticking in here. Right, fuel and packs. Remember we had packs of 66. Uh, cargo was 1,200. And the fuel on board I set was 1,470 each, which is uh, 3,100. 3, okay, gross weight, 2833. Uh, let's just cross-check that with our chart. 28, no, that's over. But that's because I took more fuel than it says that I should be taking. Um, a little bit more fuel, so it should be okay. Uh, 28, uh, 33. So if I go to my um, Google Drive, I've just got a ton of charts here, uh, aviation documents. Um, then I go to the Dash 8, like so. Speed uh, metric, 2,800 gross tons. So that's 130 and 132 at or below... Um, 20 Celsius at sea level. Uh, in altitude, yeah, we're in Amsterdam, so we're probably below sea level. So it's 130 and 132 for the V speeds. So let's go pop those in now. One thirty, one thirty-two, and then I'll put say one thirty-four in for V2, just to be safe. 134, and then 185 is our climb out speed. Okay, MDA is going to be uh, 130, so MDA is 1500 feet. Um, so 1500 feet above takeoff is uh, 15, um, that's 15, 16, 30. So that's 1630. 1630 set. Okay, right, let's just center our heading roughly on 240. Uh, if we go to Eham now. Yeah, we need to go back to Eham just because we're gonna, gonna need all of those charts for for uh, parking stands. So uh, Sid. Sid off of it's Valco, Valco, just random Valcos. Okay, so um, now we're going to go to approach. There we go, runway two four, and the it's two six seven. That's what that is, two six seven. So that's two six seven. Nah, I read that wrong. Never mind. We'll get where we'll get there when we get there. There's no need to get crazy at the moment. Hey, Alexander, good to see you. How's it going, mate? Um, 
let's just go on uh, on out. I think on out is okay right now. You yeah, actually no, I'm gonna go back on standby. He doesn't he doesn't need that to deal with right now. Let's go on standby for the weather. It's gonna be a lot of weather. Okay, yeah, I'm so sorry. It's it's I'm not gonna be in. I'm not going to be in East Midlands by by nine o'clock. Um, one twenty-one decimal six. One twenty-one decimal six. No, it was one twenty-one decimal seven. He gave me. There we go. One one twenty-one decimal seven is ground. Uh, it's south ground. <coughs> Okay, so we have pretty much everything ready and set. Uh, what we need to do is we need to cross fill, or X fill, as we say, uh, the information from uh, one uh, data uh, X fill flight plan. There we go. So we've X filled the flight plan across, and then we can set nav. To be FMS two, nav to be FMS one. Um, transition altitude is four thousand five hundred, and uh, that's not going to work. Uh, there you go. L nav pitch hold. That's fine. These things are going to go on. Gus lock is on. Idle detent, and these are going to go down to start feather. <coughs> we are on APU, so we can turn off the external power. Services cancel the external power and get ready to rumble. Um, parking brake is on. Okay, with information kilo. Push and start. Schiphol ground, good evening, Jersey 3, Lima, Mike with you, stand Bravo 9 or 2, requesting push and start with information kilo. Jersey 3, Lima, Mike, uh, Start and push approved, uh, Bravo 9 or 2 for Jersey 3 Lima Mike, and copy the change in ATIS. Thanks. <coughs> <laughs> right. Let's get this uh, done. Sierra 4. Uh, uh, A firm for uh, Jersey 3 Lima Mike. All right, let me just uh, coordinate the call. Okay. Uh, so did you say you want me over to tower as soon as I've push and start? No, Jersey, uh, reading my mic, I was just making sure you can take off from Sheriff Boy. You are getting taxi from me. With me. Sure, will do, thanks. Okay, so push and start, ladies and gents. Let's go. Uh, push uh, is going to be... Screw that. KLM, it's fine. Uh, nose right, tail left. No, I don't want that. We'll expect CR4 for takeoff. Uh, three Lima Mike, thanks. Uh, you know what? No, it's not giving me. It's not giving me what I want. I'm going to do a default pushback. Well, round. Uh, good evening, Stockage One Heavy with you. In, no, I'm going to do a nice right. pushback. I'm on stream. You guys want to see it? Sorry, X One Zero One. Information Lima Two H One Zero Zero. Turn push back. Okay, track IR on. Uh, 
Hello, Captain. We're ready for pushback. That's good to know. Let's go. Okay. Light is on red. I should have really turned these ones on first, but whatever. Okay, we look look good to go. Nice thing about the Dash 8 is that you can... Uh, the, the GSX people are really close to you. Like you can watch what's happening. Except the weird thing is, is I have I have the updated GSX. All engines clear. Start at will. Okay, starting number two. What cautionaries have we got going on here? No, we're fine. We're fine. Put the anti-skid. And uh, we are not... We are not Squawk Mode Charlie. We'll do that when we get on the threshold. Yeah, so he's the updated GSX guy, and he is not the updated GSX guy. He is too loud. It's about now that I want him to stop the pushback. There you go. Stop here. Hey, it's the weather is just terrible. Is that Sierra 4? Sorry, could you repeat that, please? No, that's not. That's Sierra 3, so that is going to be Sierra 4. I'm a Dash 8. It's fine. Get on, one, three, two. You have cleared yet for uh, your route? Where is he going? I know. Alright. Get on, one, three, two. Contact delivery on uh, one, two, one, decimal minor seven. Break set. He's got to uh, walk all the way back here, the one, idiot. Two, one, flame. Whatever. Okay, so Pito heats need to go on now. They are going on. Left thrust, right thrust. The the gens need to go on. Yep, gens are on. Bleeds going on. Uh, and now let's bring our th our condition levers up full forward. So those lights are going to extinguish, bleeds are on, and now we can take out the APU. And take off the main bus tie. We are good to go. And the wiper could go on at this point, I guess. Right, unlocking gear. Okay, so for taxi, he's not really going to give us that. So we are here. He's going to give us, hopefully, uh, Alpha 3, Bravo, and Sierra 4. That's what I'm thinking. So, let's pop on the taxi light. We've got uh, position logo. Let's turn the logo on, but the position is essential. Uh, let's go with position as well. Actually, yeah, let's go position well. Have a good trip. Okay. That is our the sign for us that we're good to go. So, uh... Uh, Jersey 3 Lima Mike is ready for taxi from uh, Stan Bravo 9 or 2. Jersey Lima Mike, taxi Alpha 3, Old Short Channel 424. Uh, sorry, say again for 3 Lima Mike. 3 Lima Mike, that's Alpha 3 to Sierra 4, Hold Short Runway 24. Alpha 3 to Sierra 4, Hold Short Runway 24. 3 Lima Mike, thanks. Okay, yeah, so he's given me what he wants, or what I, I wanted. 
Okay. Off with the parking brake and just edge forward on those condition levers and bring the nose wheel steering on to the left. Oh. Like so. Ground hearing set to light zero request. You're in for me, Joe. Don't worry. Uh, is it possible we can get a stand on the block globe here, sir? That's on when the company stands to Delta. Oh, uh, uh, you're in, uh, you want to go the other time, uh, Bravo 3 2, okay. Yep, Bravo 3 2, sign. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, you're still Okay. Waiting. Bravo 3 2. Double check things going on here. That's normal, norm, high norm. And that's both open, okay. That's fine. It's just, it's just, well, I mean, the temperature's 11 and the dew point's 11, so, I mean, there's not much I'm going to be able to do about that. It's just the way it is. Okay, so I need to know the, the tower frequency now. So let's go and have a look at that. The tower frequency is going to be Eham Tower 119.225. Okay, that's tower when we need it. <clears throat> okay, let's put TCAS on now, we'll forget. On out. Okay. Okay. One nine or two two five uh, three Lima Mike. Thanks. Good evening. Schiphol Tau, good evening. Uh, Jersey 3 Lima Mike with you, holding CR4. Jersey 3 Lima Mike, home CR4, line up and wait, runway 24. Line up and wait, runway 24, 3 Lima Mike. Okay, let's go. He's giving it to us now. Jersey 3 Lima Mike, departure, turn right heading 0, climb flight level 6 0, stay on this frequency. After departure, turn right, heading 220, climb 6,000 feet. Did I get that right for 3 Lima, Mike? Uh, it's heading 270, facing our best. Uh, heading directly 270 after departure, climb 6,000 feet for 3 Lima, Mike. 3 Lima, Mike, correct. We can see on May 24, come share for Cliff Takeoff, Vince Call. Cliff take off and remain on freak. Uh, three Lima Mike. Okay, so he's given that to me. I need to go white. Just head. Okay. And V1 rotate. Positive rate, gear up. Okay, select heading. Uh, 
IAS-185 and climb 6,000 feet select out cell West, one to one two. You see three Lima Mike, contact the part here, one to one decimal two, bye bye. One to one decimal two, thank you. Good evening, three Lima Mike. That's Jack Tower, uh, hello. EV8562, hello, information uh, Lima, track to silence, approach to the late, continue. Uh, departure, good evening, uh, Jersey 3, Lima, Mike with you, climbing through 4,500. Lima, Mike, hello, there are contact, maintain that ping, and for now, uh, climb flight level 130. Maintain heading, climb flight level 130, Jersey 3, Lima, Mike. Get on 2-0 Delta, and right heading 0-2-0. Booyah! Okay, he said flight level, so QNH1013. I think that was set like that all the time, actually. So he's saying maintain heading, so we're going to go down to props 900. And ring out the lights, and finally we see blue sky. <laughs> My goodness. It's been long since we've seen blue sky. Coming up through the clouds. Okay, everything looks okay right now. Jersey 3, Lima Mike. Navigation, direct to Idrit. Russian direct Falco. Direct Falco, uh, Jersey 3, Lima Mike. Okay, let's just hope that's on my flight plan. And oh, Valco, fine. Nav. I thought he said Falco, but you know, it's close enough. So we are, we are above. Um, we, guys, we are above. Orbex. We're above Orbex, uh, True Earth, Netherlands, with Flight Tampa, Amsterdam in the background, with full cloud coverage, with 30 to 40 FPS. One two five seven five zero. Thank you very much. Good evening, uh, Three Lima Mike. Oh, it says one two five. Easy eight five six two. Copy the rifle. One one eight decimal four. Bye bye. Okay, nice seven Alpha will maintain present descent to fly level one eight zero or one eight nine. Present heading and one eight zero four and one eight right. Alpine 7 Niner Echo Bravo, turn left, direct to RTIP, thereafter, Sperb, Valina. Direct RTIP, then Sierra Papalina, 7 Niner Echo Bravo. Okay, going uh, Min and... North Shuttle 2 to Whiskey, turn right, direct to RTIP, thereafter, Sierra Papalina, descend fly the full set. Uh, directing on to then share of Lima and then uh, descending what level, sorry? No, so it's all due to whiskey, descend flight level 70. Hey Ian! Just got in, how are things? Just, just departing uh, Amsterdam, I'm afraid. I'm a little bit behind schedule. So... 
Contact Master 135450. Got a headwind as well. Jersey 3 Lima Mike with you, flight level 130. Hello, Friedrich, good to see you. KLM one that Bravo contact Maastricht one three five four five zero bye bye. KLM one that Bravo thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You see three Lima Mike on flight level two four zero. Two four zero Jersey three Lima Mike thanks. All right, guys. Going six seven golf. Descend flight level seven zero after the river. He's going to pause the track. I are now. Woo! That was fun. That's always fun. I can see my weather radar isn't. Uh, Mode on. Oh, maybe I had it on test all the time. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey guys, good to see you on stream. It's been a while since I've live streamed. Um, for those of you who joined, uh, for those of you who joined uh, after I began, uh, a few updates. I now am running the RTX 2070 Super. Thank you for everyone who donated for that. Um, uh, Peter, you know anything about the B314 dev? It's still under construction. Yeah, I don't know anything after they posted those uh, those cockpit, those uh, interior cockpit screens, which showed that they were really further behind schedule than they said that they were. They said they were releasing in June, and obviously that's not going to happen. Um, I'm interested on how they were able to give such a... such a... Um, I'm just interested in how they were able to give such a date to say, oh yeah, we're going to release. And then, like a month after that, release photos of a, a barely finished texturing job on their interior cockpit shots. So maybe they decided to change everything to, P to, to PBR like last minute and that delayed everything. But, you know, um, by the time they release, it'll probably be ready to convert to... Microsoft 2020 as well. Okay, are we getting contrails yet? No. See the see the fluidity here, guys. This is 50 frames a second above a fully overcast environment. I'm so I'm so happy with my setup right now. It's really really good. I can't wait to get in the cockpit with Ian. Um, so, as we climb, um, actually, I'm going to climb at props 900. I think instead of 900 feet per minute, that's a bit of a ridiculous rate of ascent. Six, seven, golf. Stand by. Well, they they say Six, eight. Seven, well, yeah, you can see there's a higher, higher. Um, I am going to run my uh, VNAV. So the last position on the flight plan here is going to be. Uh, ooh, that's that's a bit of an indirect format there we go so uh, flight plan on oh, six seven golf expect runway two seven still here for the share of Papalina expect two seven still in that Papalina what on earth is that seven alpha kilo so velag after 
I'm gonna save. What is that? Okay. I'm gonna delete that one and that one as well. There we go, okay. So, uh, DTY38 is where we want to be. Two. 24. Okay, that's given us a VNAV. Yeah, top of descent is way over there. Okay. Cool. That's fine. And uh, why is it that I'm so heavy these days? Oh, maybe. Well, uh, why am I so heavy these days? Why am I not climbing properly? Huh. Usually I climb much faster than this. Ah! Oh, stupid me. So busy with the whole ATC thing and I didn't bring flaps, flap zero. There you go. Right, I'm gonna be away to the races now. Idiot. Oh, I didn't even hit fly now. <laughs> wow, that planning. So East Midlands, we're going to be there in 50 minutes. Okay. So uh, Ian Fisher, if you're online, um, I'm going to be landing in East Midlands. Uh, you'll be landing in East Midlands maybe 10, 10 past 9, 20 past 9 at the most. Uh, if you're listening, Ian, um, find out what stand you want to start at, and I will park up at that exact stand. Yeah, uh, yeah, and I'll reset the sim, and then we will sort that out. And guys, I'll probably turn off our microphones, and I'll turn off uh, the live stream, just not turn off the live stream, but put up the splash screen while, while we get connected, and then I will come back to you. You need co-pilot. Yeah, I'm going to pick him up. I'm going to pick him up. Can't You can't do these things without a co-pilot. You see, I need a co-pilot to bring my flaps up. See, and Ian wasn't there. It's his fault. That's what it is. Um, I have that bug in the dash where if I change view, it the sound disappears. But Smooth as butter. Right up to 60 FPS now. Look at that. Fit for a king. Still only, still only going up at. Let's see if we climb at a higher speed. Oh. No, don't go down. Okay, we'll be on stand 15. Excellent, good to know. Uh, we'll see if I park up on stand 15. I have a feeling that if I try and connect to you without turning... Mm. I don't know, Ian. Uh, do you, Ian, uh, yes. Uh, yes, I'm that exact reg. Ian, do you want to just jump on Discord for a second while we talk about this? Um, I will, I will, I'm in the, I'm in my, actually, I'll go to my P3D version 4. Will do. This climb rate really is atrocious. I don't know why. 
Like, I usually would have no problem smoothly going all the way up to 240. I had this on the last flight as well. Good evening, Qatar 8101, have you with your prompt saying I don't understand why. Why can't I make it up? Why is it taking so... Maybe I'm just... Maybe I'm forgetting how it used to be. Maybe it's always been like this. I don't know. Hmm. So for our flight from um, East Mids down to Jersey, guys, um, my FPS, I've tested, my FPS at East Midlands is very good. My FPS at Jersey is very good. But as I pass over the London, the general London area and Southampton, my frames drop to like 24 frames per second. Um, and then they, they rise again. Um, so, yeah, there's that. Hello, Peter. Hey, Ian, good to hear you. How are you doing? It's been a while. Hey, your co-pilot is checking in, sir. Excellent, thank but you. You're, but you're not, you're, you're not at the airport. I know, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, give me another, well, let's see. Yeah, FS to crew, no, um, Project Fly is generally very accurate, and it says 40, about 40 minutes from now. That's fine. I mean, I, I've literally just come in, dumped my bags. Yeah. Um, I've got a few so things to do. I've got to go and eat, sort myself out. So yeah. Half an hour, 40 minutes, he'll be yeah. out. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. Sweet. Yeah, I, th I was hearing what you said. Yeah, I think if you park at 50, but I think you will have to restart it so we're exactly on the mark. Yeah, 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 I agree. Um, I will definitely do that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, I think cool. rather than just just pull up, because we'll, we'll be slightly different there. Sure, and you've got the new Orbex East Midlands. I have. It's yeah, very nice. I, 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 I like it. I'm it is, enjoying it. Yeah. Except I do see what you mean about the fences are constantly flickering. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I think there's a somebody. Some if you if you read them on the Orbex forum, somebody's done a little patch uh, for it. Oh. Okay. What they've done. They've instead of. Um, it's, a, it's a lower res file. If we're right, um, right. So it, it doesn't, it, you know, it's a 520, 512 by 512 or something yeah. like that. Um, so I've, I've replaced mine and it doesn't do it so much now. Uh, I mean, you could do it by turning the anti aliasing up, but what's the point of that? I've got a 4K monitor. Yeah. Um, just, just to solve that, you know, um, when you're hitting on performances. Yeah. Um, so I've done that, but oh, oh, hang on. Sorry, Unicom here. Hang on. One, two, two, decimal eight for Jersey three Lima Mike. Thanks. Good afternoon. Okay, there you go. Uh, I cannot just wait for the new uh, new codec. Turn your stream off. Uh, otherwise, we get the echo. Oh, okay. So just yeah, um, yeah. Um, what it's doing, uh, yeah, the, the, that's the one issue, but the, the other big issue that they've got at the moment that they need to solve is the flashing windows. Uh -huh. um, I don't know if you're getting those um, uh, uh, in the glass, you know, blah, 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 flashing out and things like that. Yeah. It is for me anyway. So. Um, question, what, what speed do you generally climb at? 210, up to 210. 15k and then pitch hold. And then ah, pitch hold, right? Because pitch hold to fifty. <coughs> because I've been having um, quite a time trying to uh, to to climb up. I maybe I'm just rusty on my technique of of climbing. I don't know. But uh, uh, pitch hold. How do you pitch hold again? Let me just see. Just turn. Just just hit IS again or VS again. Oh right. Okay. So if. Oh, no, I IAS. If you hit IAS again... It turns uh, to pitch hold. pitch hold. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and, and therefore, it'll keep that pitch at 1.3, and the, f the speed will fluctuate. Right. And start going down a bit. Otherwise, you end up with, as you know, a horrible climb rate, 300 mm. feet a minute or something, because it can't keep the speed and do the climb at the same time. Mm. And once you get higher... Mm-hmm. Yeah, another... 2,000 feet and another 1,000 feet it should be me. But, yeah, well you've uh, still got IAS uh, on at the moment. I can see yeah, that. yeah. so if I go over to pitch hold, if you, if you, there you if go. If you hit IAS again, yeah, gotcha. you go to pitch hold. Mm -hmm. There you go. Uh, so that stream that lag is actually pitch. that stream lag is actually not as much as it used to be. Not too bad. No. That's not no, actually too bad, bad because I seem to remember yeah. Streamlag being like 
15 oh, seconds, good, the, you know. 15, 20 seconds before. And that was about 10. Yep. Wow. That's that. That's good. So there you go. Yeah, we'll sort the IP and stuff later on. Yeah, um, yeah, we'll sort that out. Privately, so we don't yeah. have to yeah, of course. tell the world. <laughs> indeed, uh, indeed. Uh, and then we've got those forward ports to... Yeah. To, I haven't changed it from last time, so I guess it'll be the, the same. Mm-hmm. Um, as I say, I did this flight yesterday, so I have a route um, which is still valid for the current air rack. Excellent. If you're on the latest one. Yeah, 1911, I think it just 11. recently yeah, that's it. recently yeah. updated. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Cool. So we'll have the same. We'll have the same nav eight and everything. Yeah. Um, so I can send you that on Discord the route over. Yeah. Uh, and all the weights and things, or I can just put them in when when, when we mm -hmm. when we get on. Um, uh, so looks like we fun. might have some ATC. In Euro control, but not not for long. Yeah, but that's fine. No, uh, but but if you look at it, it's only above flight level. Yeah, two two four two four five actually. So no. Yeah. yeah. So and our, our flight level is two three, um, two three zero. Oh, so mm -hmm. we won't we won't be that high. Unfortunately. That's fine. We'll be right. Okay, I'm now at uh, cruise. So. There's nothing really for me to do at the moment other than go and make some tea because. All right. Yeah, I'm going to need some tea. Okie doke. I'm going to go grab some tea, folks, in the stream. If anyone comes online onto the into the chat and wonders where I am, where I'm going, you guys can tell them. So, um, <laughs> right, Ian, I will right, uh, we'll see talk, you on the ground. We'll talk, talk to you a bit later. All right, we'll do. We'll do. Okay. All right. Bye.
Okay, there we go, I'm back. Maybe climb speed is too high. Yeah, I, I pretty much figured that's what it was. Zero. So what's my ground speed? Two six seven. Okay. Half an hour to landing. Manchester to London must be uh, repositioning. Hundred and eighty knots. You would climb at one eighty. I suppose I suppose I mean I used to climb at one eighty five. Cause that's your climb checklist, usually. But you never know. Okay. I'll uh we'll have to try that on our next leg to Jersey. We'll do that, Alexander. And all was quiet on the western front. Right. So inbound to Lambourne, and then a right-hand turn over London, essentially. <coughs> no, um, no, no um, condensation trails. I was uh, hoping to get some, but I guess not. How ridiculously smooth those transitions from view to view are. Uh, uh. 
if we went on to the uh, uh, these are going to be some smooth camera angles here Okay, we'll be coming across the London airspace, so if any London ATC comes online, we'll, we'll uh, have to be mindful of that. It is Saturday night. I would have thought there was more going on in the UK right now, but I guess not. I mean, there's a fair amount going on. I mean, look at the South, look at South America. That's, that's impressive. Nice picture, I wish I have the same. Yeah, well, it's one of those things you just, bit by bit, I've just gradually built a system that's that's doing the job now. And I'm really thankful for that. You know? bit sad I don't have any uh, condensation like I said. I wonder if immersion manager, well the immersion disconnected. Why is it disconnected? Uh, it's because I had P3D open before and then yeah, I'll reset it whenever I reset it uh, at East Midlands. I'm going to sit and watch my own stream back. Looks quite nice. Except you can't always really see the chat up against the white of the clouds, but it's okay. I need to change that super chat donation uh, tag. The latest super chat donation was uh, was not David G. It was a fellow on my last my last one. Let me just do that while I'm in cruise here. videos I've got some other videos wing view videos I need to need to produce I mean good balance sky water clouds. Oh okay, yeah. Yeah. Ah, Frederick Thompson. Let me just...
Ah, uh, there we go. <clears throat> So just after Buzzard, or just before Buzzard actually is the uh, is the TOD. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. So. Just coming over the coast now. If we turn off the weather just for the moment, show sure, rainfall. There we go. There we go. Just coming over the coast now. So we'll be coming, cutting across fairly close to London actually, and then turning north, which is a bit weird, but that's just the way it's done. But over overhead Lambourne, I'm expecting. Yeah, you see the frame rates now. Twenty kind of sitting in between 20 and 30, which is perfectly acceptable, I'm not complaining about that, but I think it will go down even further the closer we get to Lambourne, as soon as, as closer we get round to this corner here, once we, before, just before we turn north. That should be the lower frame rates. I, I wish someone would come out with a scenery package which covers the entirety of of London, and they fully optimize it really well, like the Dzwecki Design New York scenery, you know? So we don't have these these issues anymore. But no one's going to do that now that we've got Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 coming out. We'll be flying all over the place at a million frames per second. So... No, still holding fairly good frame rates. Well, I mean, we're not really over London. Wait until we're in this region. Wait until we uh, the scenery loads in EGLL, and then we'll and then we'll see what it's like. Hey, how you doing? RTB. Hey Peter, really good to see you again. Seems like such a long time. Sorry if you have already covered this, but is there a definitive date on the release of the new VATSIM codec? Yes, I can very happily tell you, sir, that the new VATSIM audio codec goes live on Monday evening at 2000 Zulu. UK, yeah, Zulu, international time, but... Uh, 2000 Zulu. I can even show you here on the website where they say so. If we go to VATSIM, uh, read more. So they say, uh, da -da 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 -da. so our brand new voice technology will launch on Monday 14th of October, which is this coming Monday. So, so what's going to happen, RTB, is VATSIM, the whole of VATSIM will close down Sunday evening and it will be completely offline for 24 hours until Monday evening when it comes live again and the, the whole 
world is essentially on the new codec. So that all the servers will have the new codec and it'll be lovely and we'll be we'll be skipping merrily down the street and singing and sniffing flowers and yeah. Um, yeah, it's going to be amazing. Um, I can't wait. And that is why I have appropriately named my stream this evening. Goodbye, old codec. We won't miss you. Yes. So my FPS now is low 20s, dipping down sometimes into, into the teens uh, frame rates, which is to be expected now that we're overhead London. You can see down there we've got a build-up of stuff. Although, to be fair, like, I took off from... Amsterdam in the Orbex True Earth Amsterdam with like 30 FPS. Why is it that London all of a sudden has to never ever work on the best systems? I don't know. I guess we've got Gatwick, Heathrow, London City. Like there's a fair amount of stuff in the load radius for it to deal with. But still, like optimization people. Let's uh oh, yeah. Yeah, there you go. That's probably Heathrow loading in. And now we're down into the teens frame rate wise. Yeah, we're down to anywhere between 11 frames to 20 frames a second. So that is the reality of flying around London. Uh, somebody pinch me, is it? Yes, it is finally happening. It's been so long. Planes, planes, looking forward to more VFR with MS 2020 and new codec. Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be crazy. MS-2020 and, and the new Vatsum Audio codec all together, it's just going to be weirdly, it's going to be surreal. I'm, it's going to be too good to be true, that's, that's what it is. Um, that's how I feel, but it's going to be a good thing. It's just the question is, how much is, uh, how much is MS-2020 going to cost us, and how much will it cost us, the end user, to upgrade any add-ons that come across. A lot of aircraft add-on uh, developers will most likely be porting and updating their aircraft to come into the MS-2020 um, world. Um, but scenery developers, that's going to be a different thing because like that default scenery looks good. So there's going to... I'm, I'm hoping... I've been saying and hoping that I think because because there's so much scenery data they're going to be streaming this data to your PC over the internet and I'm hoping that they create an offline version that's completely offline for those people who don't have good internet connections and maybe you can download say 200 gigabytes of of data that covers the whole, your all of your default scenery needs for the whole planet, and that is a completely 100% offline version. And I'm I'm hoping maybe Microsoft would allow third-party scenery developers to develop scenery for the offline version, where their their custom scenery is good enough to look good enough and look slightly better or slightly more exact. I don't know. I think as well. I think as well. If you if you updated your scenery to work in the environment of Microsoft 2020, it would look better than it is in P3D version four any day of the week. It's still even even the most up to date PBR airports would still look better. It's to do with lighting, and there are still obvious lighting issues in P3D version 4.5 plus the hotfixes that still have never been addressed and I bet you the reason they can't address it is because it's embedded so deeply into that that FSX code that they can't they they can't mess around with it too much um, or else they would have already I mean uh, yeah but the lighting in P3D still gets me sometimes like I still get triggered a bit at the way the lighting but the whole cloud system and the aerodynamics and the, the, the volumetric clouds and the, the, what they're talking about, the amount of data points there's going to be on the airframe to create realistic stalls and, and wind buffets and there's going to be proper vortex ring state, there's going to be edge, edge flow 
with with wind flowing across ridges. We're going to have gliders that are going to be pr like glide, like proper gliders. And yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And if they if they uphold all of the things they say at this point that they want to uphold, then it's going to be a revolution. And X Plane 11 is going to have to be working just as hard as P3D version 4 is going to be have to have to be working to keep in the game. Um, I bet you, I bet you Lockheed Martin and and Lamina f Lamina Research is it Lamina Research? Lam I don't know. People that do X Plane 11, they're probably right now in talks about crap. We've got to pull our thumbs out now and really start thinking about how we can update our platforms to keep up. Because the um, the, the level of add-on developers that are on the wagon of P3D version 4 is, 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 is significant. Like, basically when FSX went dead and Lockheed Martin bought it out and went on with P3D version 1 and 2 and 3 and 4, all of the add-on developers jumped from FSX all have gradually gone over to P3D version 4 Lockheed Martin need to hold Lockheed Martin if they want to remain competitive they need to update their sim P3D version 5 needs to be really good it needs to be as good but still more compatible with with what add-on developers are, are, are using right now for V4 um, so it's, it's going to be really interesting and I think it's going to be sad that a lot of scenery develop good good scenery developers are all of a sudden going to go oh crap like we've not got a job anymore like I feel like a lot of a lot of a lot of the scenery developers that aren't as good as the top ones I feel are probably going to be like it's not worth it at this point I feel like that might happen I don't know it depends. It depends where P3D version 4 is going to go. Uh, you know, is version 5, whatever that is, is that going to be worth buying after MS 2020 releases? All these questions. So many questions. So few answers. Anyway, we're at the top of descent now and my voice is creaking. Can't wait for a true VFR and fly sim. Yeah, neither can I, man. Neither can I. I'm right there with you. Top of descent. Um, let's just there we go. Right, altitude three thousand. Alt cell selected. <coughs> yeah, I mean, I do know, I have heard, um, I've heard it from the little birds. Um, a little birdie told me that I do know that A2A is um, probably actively going to, I'm sure they're going to be actively developing all of their, their whole range of aircraft for MS-2020. And uh, they're probably in the early stages of configuring workflows and things and getting ready to push forward with that once once Microsoft release their um, what you call it DT something RXT DT something dev their their dev lock their not, uh, some uh, SDK that's it once Microsoft release their SDK all the developers I bet you are just going to be like boom full full steam ahead. Let's get, let's get stuff out there. And I cannot wait to fly the Piper Cub in Microsoft 2020. Uh, that's going to be good. All of the A2A aircraft. I just can't. I can't wait. I can't wait to fly the Cub in V4. Let alone. Let alone. Ah, well. So my frame rates are now coming back now that we've turned north. Yep, and we're out of the low distance of uh, of Heathrow. So, yeah, there you go. Let's 
It's a misty day. But it's good to see you guys on the stream. It's been a while since I've live streamed. Um, I have a number of projects and video ideas. Now I've got the RTX 2070 Super. I'm going to be moving forward with video production like I used to. Um, with the, I'm going to re, I'm going to re, I'm going to restart. I'm not going to restart, but it's, I'm going to get back into regularly releasing PPL training series videos, and I'm, I'm very serious that I want to do that because I really enjoy them. And I feel like the community enjoys them too, and they're really helpful. They're very polished, very. Um, I'm, I'm intending them to be training aids for flight simming, and um, for GA flight simming. And uh, I'm kind of halfway through the next one, so um, it's just finding the time, and it's just about sitting down and doing it. And uh, that's what I'm going to do. So. 2020 will bring a ton of new users. Pilot Edge and Vatsim will blossom even more realism. Yep, I'm completely with you there. Completely with you there. I think the third party winners will be in hardware. Yeah. Do I don't know. I don't know though. Because in terms of hardware, once you've bought your 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 flight stick and once you've bought your rudder, rudder pedals, you don't need another one for Ten, you know, five, ten years, depending on the quality. Like, once, once a third-party developer sold a piece of hardware to a user, it's not like there's fifty different pieces of hardware that they they're going to want to buy. You know, whereas software developers are developing several different airports, and you might want to buy the whole collection of airports. So I, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I heard you come in, Ian. How are you doing? I heard someone come in. I heard. Oh, I see people here. Yes, Vendelbo, how are you doing? I heard. I heard an echo happening in the background. Someone. Yeah, it's me. Hi, Peter. Yeah, how's it going? And not too bad. Oh, that's good. Yeah, hanging in there, enjoying the enjoying the stream, and um, just gonna watch my uh. Watch my airspeed here. Yeah, doing well. Okay, we've got EG, EGKK approach on. Nothing as of yet in Nottingham East Midlands. It'd be lovely if a tower controller came on or an approach controller came on. Right now, I could get some ATC into East Mids. But there we go. Oh, I cannot wait for the new codec. Oh. Just just trying to get out of Amsterdam tonight was a bit of a chore. Just trying to understand some of those some of those just is so hard to understand. But uh, yeah, down through fifteen thousand. Fourteen thousand. As we come down through ten thousand, we will uh, bring on the landing lights, and uh, we've already got, we've already got the seatbelt sign on. We don't really need it on. I just popped it on because we began the top the TOD. Usually, at least you do a cabin PA, but. Uh, All of this scenery you're seeing, folks, is the uh, the older versions of the the Orbex regional packages before they bring brought out the True Earth stuff. Um, and these run fine. I still enjoy them. I uh, I still think they're quite accurate, quite nice looking. And uh, yeah, I don't think I would upgrade at this point to the True Earth series for the UK because they don't have seasonal textures. Um, and I I really enjoy my seasonal my seasonal regional scenery. So down through thirteen thousand. I'm a bit nervous about Unicom. Hope uh, users don't abuse it. Yeah, I know what you mean. 
I know what you mean. Um, the one thing we do have working for us in that situation, though, planes, planes, is that any aircraft can't. You like you can't hear everyone in the UK that's on Unicom right now. Like like you, the range, the range modeling will help alleviate that. You will at least be able to fly. 150 nautical miles away from an annoying person and you won't hear them anymore um, and that's at least going to be something but um, but it's going to it's going to force people to to learn how to use Unicom properly because they're going to have to learn how to do their own calls on Unicom and to and to be able to fit in with other GA traffic and commercial traffic and fit around other people while calling out on VATSIM and announcing their intentions, and that, and I'm looking forward to seeing that happen. I don't know that it will. I don't think it will happen overnight. There's good, definitely going to be a transitional period. Come Monday night, there's going to be a transitional period of people accidentally and stepping on people they can't hear, you know, stuff like that. Uh, we've seen it a little bit. We've got little tastes of that in the beta tests that have come out, like the Boston beta test I did back uh, a while ago. It's there's a lot of kind of mind games you're starting to play on. Okay, I can hear the I can hear the the controller talking to someone, but I can't hear that other person he's talking to because we're either out of range or there's terrain that's blocking, you know, um, and so there's a bit of a, a another layer of mind games you have to start playing with yourself and going, okay, is this actually the right time to be? You have to actually be engaging. You can't just like zone out and and just expect that because no one else is talking, you're okay to talk. You know, it's you gotta you gotta have another part of your brain actually listening in on other people's conversations. Uh oh crap, what's going on? Okay, yeah, right, I see. Yeah, direct to DTY twenty eight, that's fine. Still on uh, profile. Okay, coming down through ten thousand on with the uh the logo light I should have turned off, I apologize about that. On with the landing lights. Uh so the logo light would go on as would the um as would the uh, seatbelt signs, so they'll go on now. Uh, what is going on? Let's just make sure that we're going in the right direction. No, I, no, yes. Okay, that's fine. You just, you just are coming back on my. Okay, ice detected. What? I don't have ice detected. Where are you on about? I don't have ice detected. Where be that ash? I see no ash, fool. Um, okay. I like, I like that view there. I can keep that view. Oh, yes. Okay. There's another one of those, uh, posts. Taken offline on Sunday, 13th of October at 2000 Zulu for 24 hours to launch audio for VATS and make sure you followed the instructions to prepare your, your pilot or ATC client for the upgrade. Visit audio.vatsim.net to read more. Hey, Joe Clint. Good afternoon. How's it going? Yeah, doing well. Uh, have you been able to try out the new codec? I have actually in a beta test. In the Boston uh, beta test that happened recently, I was trying out the new codec. Um, had a lot of fun with that. You are able... Well, you're not able to now. I don't think... I think they've taken the servers down. But there were beta, there were beta servers that were up that you could just go and fly on. Not many people were on them, but there were... A few people around, so if you didn't want to just sit there listening to a horrible Kodak, you know what that ice detected? I'm gonna listen to it. I'm gonna listen to it, even though I don't believe it. I'm gonna listen to it. Do I see any visual ice build up? No, I don't see any visual build up. At least yet. R regarding uh, the flight sim. 2020. Are you like one of those on AV Sim that uh, say that we're not gonna fly anymore uh, before the new Sim come out, or uh, are you like, I I think why not still uh, fly uh, P3D or explain and and see what happens? Oh oh, I will definitely still be heavily invested in P3D. Um, I've I've invested so much in P3D version four, all of the add-ons that I I couldn't simply. I couldn't do that to myself, really, go, oh, yeah, you're just uninstalling the lot. I just could never do that. And also, you've got to consider that on day one, when it comes out, 
it's only going to have what I don't know six to eight different default aircraft that you can fly. So, exactly, that's what I thought. That because yeah. we were saying, no, we don't, we don't want to do anything uh, with P three D or explain because we we're going to wait and and sit on our hands and see what happens. I mean, why not just keep on and being enjoyed by the sim you have? Yeah, yeah, and I mean today some people still have uh, um, FS nine, you know, and some some people still just enjoy simming with their own setup and maybe that you know uh, there are significant amounts of people i'm convinced are still on fsx because they've been um they've never really had any uh they've never really had any add-ons that 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 uh make people you know we used to get the, the blue screen of death and stuff like yeah. people still don't you know, people don't have complex add-ons that that do that do that, and so they don't feel um, that they need to change ever. So, and that's fine. You know, if if they've got their yeah. scenery f that's configured for FSX, you know, and they've got got FSX tweaked the way they want it, people people don't feel like they need to like learn so much new stuff about a new platform. So I completely understand. Um, I, I, I agree because uh, well. This, the the videos we've seen and the screenshots it's it's look amazing but still it's it's gonna be a I don't know a year or two before we see any other add-ons and you say A2A or PMDG or whatever it brings up some good planes for us uh, I don't know I'll be sticking to P3 for a while I, I yeah see. well I think they will be releasing their um I've just got to pay attention to, uh, hang on, uh, so, ILS, what's the ILS frequency is, a lock is 10935, I've got to put this in now, uh, 10935, and let's go on heading hold. There we go, right, yes, um, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, you're you're right. I mean, there we go. Okay. Okay. So props are full forward. Oh, this is going to be a good landing. Oh crap! Uh, one thing I didn't do is I didn't go to local Q&H, which is 106, crap. There we go. Okay, I'm a little lower than I thought I was. I heard 2500 call, and I was like, ah, oh, there we go. Anyway, that's okay. Uh, let's go approach. That is the approach. Probably going to blow through the center line. Yeah, that's my mistake, but... Now this is this is a beautiful airport. This really is, and this is really why I'm flying this in the daytime, folks, because it, it does look good. Okay. Also, stand 15. Taxi airport uh, stand. Okay, 15. Right, I got you. Uh, if I can come off Sierra 1, that should do the trick. Well, no, I'm not going to be. I'm going to come off Mike. Yeah. Okay. Her gear coming down. Taxi light going on. And it looks good. Trim is zero. And I could pretty much take it take it manual at this point. We've got a nine knot crosswind. And I'm gonna bring the speed down and bring flaps fifteen in. Sorry I'm not gonna look at uh I'm not gonna look at chat too much at this point. Still uh, is that you, Alexander, saying you're still on FSX? That's cool. Uh, 
Okay, going flaps 15. And below the glide, I screwed that up. So we're going to come up. Okay, 8 knot crosswind. There we go. Just trim. Why and why is my aircraft why does it bank to the left? I've not got a fuel discrepancy. So I'm not sure about that. Okay. Speed wise. I'm not not looking where I'm supposed to be. This is this is crap. I'm really, really not doing a good job here. Look, I'm almost completely off the glide. Come on, Mantop do the job properly. You've not even got ATC to contend with. You really shouldn't be making this problem. Let's just ease us back onto the glide slope. There's the glide slope now. Two yellows, two reds. And let's just start. Let's not get crazy. Let's not get crazy. There you go. There you go. 1,000. Okay, 200 is decision height. I'll be there in a minute, Ian. Hold your horses. I'm coming. Okay. I will wait for 2020. Now you see, in your position, going from FSX to my MS 2020, that's not a bad idea because you've just, you know, that's that's called efficiency. That's financial efficiency right there. <laughs> um, instead of followed all of the fads as they come and go. Um, find find what you enjoy, find what you're satisfied with, and stick to it until the much better thing turns up. Okay, continuing. Okay, a little bit high, but that's fine. So it's definitely not going to be Sierra. And there's touchdown. That was soft. I think that was pretty good. And that's above F above 30 FPS as well. Really happy with that. Gus lock on. Flight idle detent. Okay. Your damper off. I should have turned those on, but whatever. Okay, APU. On. Nose wheel steering is on. Flaps are coming up. Okay, so that is Mike, was that? Yes, that's Mike. I'm coming off. Now, East Midlands, this is a beautifully, beautifully model airport. Hey up, just taxiing. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, there you are. So That's good can, timing. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Just got my mug of tea. So Excellent. Good. I've got half a mug left, so we should be good. I'm feeling all out of the show. I got a mug of elephant. Beer here. So Elephant I beer. Have no, nice. Yeah, I have no tea. Sorry. Oh, it's okay. Each to their own. <laughs> I'm not flying tonight. Yeah. Uh, that's what I wanted. Okay. On to stand coordinates. Let's not get carried away now. 
Quebec, and it's actually just ahead of Quebec, so. We'll catch up with chat in just a second. I'll pull on to stand and then catch up with chat. Okay, that was a fun flight. Um, we could have done with more ATC, but there you go. Um, I obviously have been pretty relaxed in my work, my my flows and my stuff. Um, okay. When are you going to fly out of uh, Inverness from UK 2000? Uh, in Inverness? Uh, actually, I've already got I've already got a scenery for Inverness, so I'm not going to buy the UK 2000 one. Um, I would buy an Orbex Inverness if they ever did it, but I don't think they will. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to the the Orbex um, Isle of Man. Uh, it's just and the Channel Islands and the Channel Islands. Where are we going? Yeah, we could get an updated uh, version of those. Yeah, Old Guernsey, Jersey. Jersey. Yeah. All right, so I have pulled on to stand, and uh, let's just pause track IR now. I've got the uh, the the control tower is casting a shadow on the scenery as well as on the plane, which is looking very nice right now. Um, I think it's control E that opens the door, or shift E. Shift E. See, mine doesn't. Which is weird. It forces me to go into the into the thing. Anyway, uh, pro probably won't while the while the engines are turning, will it? Uh, maybe, maybe. Uh, <coughs> so I don't know. Okay, well, folks, thank you very much for watching that leg. Uh, I am now going to set up for the next leg, which is going to be. Um, let's just turn off that now. There we go. I'm going to be setting up for the next leg now with Ian Fisher. We're going to be doing shared cockpit from uh, East Midlands here to Jersey. And that's where we're going to finish for the evening. That is a lot of cars in that car park. My goodness. Um, yeah. So I will see you back here at stand 15. Um, I'm just going to uh, mute the... Yeah, so I'm just going to mute the stream and I'm going to turn on this image so that um, that Ian and I can get things set up correctly. Um, and I will see you back in, I don't know, maybe 15, 20 minutes roughly. Uh, but I'm not going to disconnect the stream and then reconnect it. It's just going to be the same stream. So feel free to just, uh, yeah. Okay. Um, I will see you folks in a minute. Let's see if I turn off my...
Okay, there we go. 500 in there. Uh, uh, take actually, off fuel. Take off fuel is 3012. And trip fuel is 1075. Calculate. Okay, so zero fuel weight according to the plan is 24. 104 and I've got 24106 so that's pretty good I'll take that. Mm -hmm. What's take your um weight. what's the call sign? It's um uh Jersey 1544. It's a real world flight it happens. Excellent. Okay, I will hit and select it... the connect in shared cockpit mode observer mode. So there's that's that's what I'm doing. And uh Okay. Oh, for uh, yeah, for, for, for Vatsim. Yeah. Okay. Well. Yeah. It, it, uh, to be yeah. fair. It, to be fair. Might pop up later. Well. Oh yeah, we've just got London Control. Have we? Okay. Yeah. So we might as well go with that. Uh, well, that unless the West comes on, they won't touch us. Oh, okay. Because uh, it's, I think, we're out of there. Although. EGNX, is that in? I don't think it is. Thanks for the power. Uh, right, I was just finishing this off. Landing mass, uh, 26043. Okay, and center flight sim. And everything pauses, of course. So, yep. unpause. Right. Yep, I've, okay. I, I saw the change. Yep, that's good. We have uh, right um, and everything in. All done. Looks like we've got... Um, We've got ground power. Let's just data uh, services exits. Let's open up the exit. Oh, right. First thing I'm going to look for is behind your seat, and they're there. Excellent. Yes. Good to know. There, they're already already there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, right. I have my uh, FMS, so I will start with the fuel, and I'll put those in while you're doing everything else. Okay, so zero fuel weight is two four. Okay, so um, let me grab my airline to sim. Uh, checklist, which I got like three years ago at Cosford, lol, <laughs> when uh, Ben from Airline to Sim was there handing them out. Oh, right. Talking about Ben to Airline to Sim, the only problem I've got, I don't have um, Aura Sim working mm. for, for some reason, so I won't be able to get speeds. So if you um, do that, I, I can get V speeds based on our gross weight. Good. Yeah, I've got a chart yeah, for that. Um, it, says, it says I'm all, you know, when I log on, it says. Um, Oh, your your account is not uh, active or something, but then you log onto the website and it says it is. Oh. So something's wrong there. Hmm. So London Control is on, but you say that's not where oh, we're going. Lord. No, I think you need. I think it's need. It's London Control West, isn't it, that does the okay. Jersey route? London Ooh. Control South is just Gatwick Heathrow. Um, okay. That sort of area. London Control. North is it? I can't, I can't. You know, I think I'm not a ATC man, but I think that's so. We can find out. But um... someone has given Nottingham East Midlands an ATIS. The 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 London oh, control, right. the London control controller Jonas Hay has given East Midlands oh, well, maybe, ATIS. Maybe we are on then. Yeah. So we might as well just log in and see what he says. Yeah. yeah. I can transmit and uh, and talk with him. Yeah. Uh. That is draw one twenty seven eight two five. So three oh one two zero fuel weight is two four one oh six and gross weight is two seven one one eight, which is near enough. Okay. That's the fuel done. Flight pan, okay. Um, 
um, I'm just going to chat. I'm just going to chat to um, to the controller. So I'm just going to mute myself in, in Discord here for a second. Okay. London Control, good evening, uh, Jersey 1544, on the ground at East Midlands, uh, bound for Jersey. Uh, will we be in your ATC airspace at all? Uh, Jersey 1544, London Control. Um, say again where you are, can't see. Uh, East Midlands, bound for Jersey, just wondering if we're going to come in your airspace. Easy one five four. You appear to connect to an observer, which is why I can't see you. Uh, you need to be connected to the pilot, um, so please retry that. I uh, will do. Um. Well. <sighs> uh, why? Why couldn't he just answer my question? Hi, Ian. Yeah. So, um, I've I've reconnected to I've reconnected to Vatsim as a, not an observer since I'm going to be yeah. doing ATC. Um, of course. Yes. So when you connect to Vatsim, if you connect as an observer, when you click the box that says that. Yeah. Okay. And uh, also, Discord has this thing where. Discord should have this thing where I can go uh, to keybinds. Add a keybind. Push to talk. Push to mute. Canada 858, to control again. Expect Bovington 1 Delta, right? Okay, let me just test this. Yeah, okay, that works. Okay, so I've just I've just added a push to mute on to Discord so that whenever I transmit to ATC, you won't hear me twice. Okay. Which is really helpful because it screws your brain. In shared cockpit. Okay, so now we've got that. Um, I will go back to the controller. <laughs> so uh, uh, he's he's going to want my he's going to want me to put in the flight plan because I am the ATC. So is the flight plan the exact flight plan you put into um, Discord? Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. That's it. Okay. Hopefully they will get the right uh, uh, departure and arrivals depending on the wind sure. I've checked it, it looks like it is. And I've cross-filled your um, your details into your side, so Thank you've you. got the fuel and up-to-date flight plan. Thanks. So I'm going to connect now. Um, so it's... Sure. What's takeoff time, would you say, in about 15 minutes? Yeah, 15, well, sh yeah. 15, 20 minutes. 20 so I'm going to say, I'm going to say uh, 21 to 15 Zulu. Yeah. Uh, so call sign Jersey fifteen forty four. Yeah. D, 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 no, at some point I remember did did I have to connect to something like an A after it or something? That's not the case no, anymore, is it? No, that's not the case. As long as you have that button ticked, it should be it, right. it, the system recognises you too. Right. Connect in shared cockpit mode, observer mode. Yeah. Connect as observer. Yeah. Bang. All right. Uh, network uh, error. Call sign uh, use. Okay, you will have to put the A in front of it then. Yeah, you have to put the A on the end. Um, okay, so, what's the cruise altitude? Two three. Two three. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. File flight plan. Fifteen forty four A. Yes, that's correct. Fifteen forty four Alpha. Yeah. Connectors observer. Yeah, Done. that's correct. Done. Come on. 
Okay, and in, when you have that observer thing ticked, it means we shouldn't have a shadow aircraft following us around in Vatsim. Right. At least I hope. Oh, that horrible codec. I know. Yeah. At least, at least, at least you can hear them transmitting when at yeah. the same time. So, like, if you're talking and all of a sudden ATC begins talking, you 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 yeah. stop talking so, so that we're not stepping on each other. Yeah. Um. Well, I'm going to turn it right down there, so I know it's there. Right. So how are we with the flight plan? Are we all are we pretty much good to go? Okay, I'm going to close the door. I'm going to start the APU. And uh, I'm going to get rid of ground power. And we can get ready for put... Well, I will then talk to ATC. Actually, I'll talk to them now. Just to ask if he's in... I've got to set the, um, the, 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 the uh, primary flight display up. Yeah, that's that's fine. And all all that, yeah. And, yeah, um, I just need to ask him if question. we're even going into yeah, his yeah. airspace because now I've given him my yeah, flight plan. So sure. let me just okay, ask him that, that now. So okay. London Control, uh, Jersey one five four four, back with you on the ground at East Midlands, bound for Jersey. Just asking if we're even coming into your airspace. Jersey 1544, I'm covering the whole of London FIR. You are clear to Jersey, Daventry 3, November departure, squad 3314. That's the Daventry 3, November departure, squad 3314, and cleared to destination as filed for Jersey 1544. Jersey 1544, correct. When ready, push and start approved, call me for taxi. Push and start approved, and we'll call for taxi Jersey 1544. Thanks. Excellent. So, could you hear me in Vatsim yeah, I, version? Yeah. Oh, yeah. you do have I the echo? Yeah. Oh, so you can hear me twice? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I thought I'd. I thought I'd. I could hear the Vatsim. You could hear the Vatsim as well as the Discord? As, yeah, as well as you. On the Discord. Oh, but I, I, I did this hotkey that should stop that. <sighs> Maybe that's only whenever this is. I I put in a keybinds. I I put a push to mute keybind as the same key as the the. Uh, so the Discord shouldn't work. So so dis Discord should mute. Whenever yeah, I whenever transmit, but that doesn't seem to want to work. Uh, I don't know. Right. So, what is our initial? Oop. Oh. Looks like nine thousand. Uh, he, I don't think he gave me an initial. No. Um, we got D three three nine W at nine thousand, and then onward from there. Two right, heading three five zero degrees. Which is all right. Defense level and the man heading two five. Level. Yeah, here we go. Uh, 3000 at D236 Gold. 55 at DTY31 and 9000. And it's above those levels, yeah, so 9 is the. Um, uh, right, yes, at 9000. D339 Whiskey at 9000, so that'll be it. I still don't have a flight plan. What, on your side? No, you don't. Have, doesn't look like you have a flight plan either. Oh, did you press the wrong yeah, exfil? Did you press the fill on the the wrong side? No, no, no. I pressed it on your side. Okay, that's weird. I don't see a flight and plan. I, I see them both. I see them in the displays. Right. I don't. I can see it in yours as well and mine. I don't see them on either. Well, that's okay because you're flying. <laughs> I'm not yeah, flying, I'm just but, talking. Yeah, this this is this is this thing that it said that we weren't we weren't compatible. So 
Oh, yeah, no, I don't. I'm... What we're going to have to do is, if, if ATC give me instructions, I'm going to have to have you put them in, because I can't see any yeah. of the... So, it's just unfortunately going to be the way it is. So, um... Would you mind doing the speeds for me, please? Ah, yes, that's right. Uh, what's... Just give me our gross weight. Uh, gross weight is... Takeoff weight is 27118. Sweet. Okay. Okay, 27. So... Speeds are... When you're ready down to 182, okay, let me know. Yep. 124 and 127. So V1 will be 124. Yeah. V rotate will be 127. Yep. Yeah. V2. Uh, V2 can be 128 or 129. Let's just set the barometric pressure as well while we're here. And then the triangle, what's that one? Uh, a climb out speed triangle can be uh, 185. 185. 185 for the climb out speed. That's just a standard climb out speed I use. Okay. Q and H is set and cross checked. And then the final one, the triangle. Uh, I, I I don't do one after one eight five. That that should oh, lo right. looks fine by me. So. Okay. Okay. So we're on APU. I'm going to take out the uh, ground power now. And on with the red light. And he gave us clearance to push and start. And asks that we talk to him for taxi. So we're fine for pushback. Okay, so we have the ground power is clear. We are good to go for push and start when you are ready. Uh, let me just go over some flows first, though. Yeah, you better do some checklists because I've got something in front okay. of you. Landing lights under four takeoffs. Rotation on board, batteries on. Checked. Batteries, main bus tie. On bus voltages, check those voltages. All good. Safety equipment. Check. Hello, expect the Vastox one golf arrival. Redirect the Vastox. Safety speed, landing gear, lights and pins are set. Engine intake doors are green. Circuit breakers checked. Old gear, that's correct. Fire and smoke detection. So if we're on, you've got the APU up, I see. We can actually turn off the external power then. Uh, yes, we, we can. That's correct. We go. have APU on, so bleed air is off. Uh, correct. APU bleeds uh, as required. Resurrect fan. Should be on. So yeah. Done that. Okay. Pressurization <laughs> set <and> checked. <laughs> we don't really have to worry about that yet. Packs checked. Yep. Uh, emergency lights is armed. Fuel transfer quantity. Uh, we've got set quantities on left and right. That's good. Park brake check and the pressure is is okay. Well, the PSI check, 3,000 PSI. Where's the parking brake check, the pressure? PTU central, standby pressure. Uh, is that your side? Oh, is that, that's it's, oxygen on your side, is yeah, it? Yeah, it's saying zero on the pressure for the pounds per square inch. But we're not... On uh, the side, but we're not... We're not, we've got no engines. We've engines, got no engines, engines. Got yeah, so, so that's fine. So we not have any pressure until you start up. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Emergency lights. Oh, have you put the trim in for the for the ruddy? Yeah. No. Uh, no. It's it's usually five to the right. Yeah. 
Yep. There you go. Um, Alice, no steering is off. No steering only gets turned on when after we've pushed back. Run FMS is yeah, set. Takeoff and departure briefing yeah, is complete. Yeah, yeah, so pre flight's complete. So we've got GA uh, heading to the left. Alt cell 9000. Um, 1006 hectopascals. Reading 300, is it? Or 380 in there in the box? Three, 320. Oh, the, um, yeah, let me put in the squawk as well, sorry. Uh, you've got a different pressure on your side. 1006, there you go. Uh, yes, 1006 is the correct, uh, yeah. that's what it should be. Yeah. Uh, it's now it's now it's now one zero zero seven actually. So let's just turn that. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Three twenty feet. Yeah. Cross checked. Yep. Okay. So. Um, do you have GSX if you want to do your do your own pushback? Yeah. That's good. Okay. Let me get that up then. And uh, you, you concentrate on pushback, and I'll concentrate on engine start. Okay. Uh, right, so um, we need to go. We've got two seven, so we need to go nose, tail left, nose right. Tail left, nose right. Yeah. Uh, we could go. No, we need to go the other way. Nose yeah, left, go tail right. Charlie. Yeah, nose left tail. Oh, we, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Charlie, Romeo, Alpha, and then on to 2-7. Yeah, so that is, in GSX language, that is nose left tail right. Tail right. Yeah, nose left tail right. It is, yeah. Oh, really? So, so it, it, it means... Tail left, nose right. Because we're backing up, aren't we? We want the tail, we go to the left, and the nose to the right. It's the other way around, as far as I know. It's, Is it? Well, it's always oh, been well, for me, yeah, but... Yeah, yeah. So we can turn it around anyway. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Say again, please, Qatari 2 XA, Bravo. Okay, he's locking the gear. Sweet. Just let me know when you want some engines. Yeah. <coughs> And start it, Will, please. Start engine. Starting number two. If you want three vector out, you send flight level behind us, right? You send flight level nine, as you You want three vector out, huh? If you want three vector out, so contact out with RPM direct, in the green. Six, decimal eight, two, five. Temperature in the green. Okay, contact, so Oil contact pressures two, in the green. One, two, six, decimal eight, two, five. Thank you. On the, on the left side, RPM in the coming into the green. Temperatures in the green and oil pressure is rising on the right as well. Oil pressure in the green and temperatures of oil temps coming up as well. Both engines look good. Just going to give them a, f a few more moments and then I will put them up to max. Parking brake set. Yeah. Yeah, we are. We are correct. We are po pointing the right way. So it's done what I asked it to. Oh, okay. Left nose right. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah. yeah. So go along here. Follow the line round. Oh, listen to that noise. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So props. Props are in the correct place. Temperatures are holding, 
and oil on both the left and the right engines, the pressures are good and the temperatures are rising to nominal. So, yep, two good starts. I will give you flap five and from this point on I will not touch the condition, well, it depends, no, the condition levers are on my side so you'll ask me for props 900, yeah, 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 but you're in control of the power levers, yeah, okay, so you got yourself some flaps five and let me just run through, uh, after start checklist, external power APU, let's turn that off. Uh, we got the uh, aug aug pumps on, please, and the uh, auto feather, if you could. Yep. Yeah, I see those going on. Yep, yep. that's good. That's uh, good main bus tie goes off. Set. Yep. Electrical panels checked. Uh, electrical panels. Let's just go double check the uh, electrical. No, not that one. It's that one. Yeah. Oh, no, sorry, not that one. Where am I going? Systems, that's what I wanted. Electrical systems page. DC bus, we are good on both sides. Yeah. I put the bleeds on as well. Oh, we kept it for minimum for time. Uh, so, condition levers max. Uh, auto feather selected. Fuel pumps went on. Hydraulics normal. Let's just double check. Yeah, we are on uh, just under 2000 psi. Um, Fl flaps and speeds. Flaps have been set to five. Speeds are set. Rudder, uh, just get yourself uh, set up with a the rudder there so I can see you've got your full travel on the rudder. Yeah, yeah, I see it. Yeah, I can see it. Right. Excellent. Uh, nose wheel steering is on. Yeah, I can see those as well. Yeah, we won't do that because the. Uh, yeah, because it's uh, attached to the nose wheel. PFD, MFD, and ED. Yeah, excellent. Good to see. Uh, and, uh, yep. Yeah, you got pressure. Bleeds go on to minimum. Yes, that is correct. De-ice pressure checked. Yeah. Check the de-ice. Where is the de-ice pressure? I can't see a de-ice pressure, but um, uh, ice protection test. I'll put the uh, score on out. Yeah, and XPDR and TCAS. Let's put the TCAS on. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay, so taxi checklist is next. Let me just uh, call, call uh, for taxi. Um, you bring up a chart. And we will. I'm expecting okay. Charlie Romeo Alpha or Quebec Alpha to Alpha One. Is that? Yeah. Okay. Because I hold point Alpha. It doesn't say anything. Yeah. Let me just find a. Let me find a space to to jump in. London Control Jersey 1544 on the ground at East Mids uh, requesting taxi to the active. Jersey 1544, roger, taxi right up for hold Alpha 1 runway 27. Report fully ready. Taxi Alpha, hold Alpha 1 for 27 and we'll report when ready for takeoff uh, or ready to move on to the, the active for Jersey 1544. Okay. okay. Good yep. Go. So he said Alpha, hold okay. Alpha 1. So, yep. yep. Release the brakes. Off we go. Release brakes. Off we go. Off we go. Into the wild blue yonder. Diving high into the sun. Do, 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 do. Um, let's put position. Let's put logo light on. Okay. Fast belts, seat belts are on. Tax lights on. Yeah, we're all good. All good. We are all good in the hood. Passengers happy, ready for their exciting trip down to Jersey. Yeah, let me just uh, just do one of my okay, flash cabin PAs. Ladies and gents from the flight deck, this is Peter Mathis, your first okay, officer, well, yeah. flying alongside Ian Fisher, our captain. Uh, on my on behalf of myself, I'd like to welcome you all on board the flight. 
from East Midlands to Jersey. Uh, flight time today is about 1 hour and 15 to 1 hour and 20 minutes. Um, based on the fast ta taxing action of our captain, we should be up to the threshold very soon and uh, ready for takeoff, so we don't expect any delays. And uh, we'll get back to you in the cruise with a weather and uh, and arrival update. So uh, sit back, relax, and uh, pay attention to those air stewardesses. Flight attendants now. Oh. Air stewardesses. You'll have them writing in. Uh. Hey, Peter, it's great when Meg's here. When I'm flying. <laughs> yeah. It's great. I said, uh, coffee, please. Mm -hmm. Flight attendant. Brilliant. Oh, oh! Arrow to the heart. How lovely. She brings you on. And um, you just need to. Hang on. You just need to like add a few lines of code in the FS to crew um, software so that whenever you press the PA button on the FS to crew software. It actually calls your daughter's mobile phone yeah. to come and yeah, get you yeah, some yeah, actual yeah, coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I thought about, um, uh, she's agreed to do it, because uh, I do this um, A to A multiplayer, multiplayer on Sunday nights. Yeah. And uh, she's agreed when she's around, she'll do a proper professional uh, safety demo for everybody. Oh, know. wow. Sits here, la, 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 la. <laughs> wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. Right, well. I haven't got to do it in a uniform yet, mine. I think that's what probably be a bit too much. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's had a PA hat on and did it. Yeah. Okay. Taxi checklist. Brakes. Did we test the brakes? Uh, nope. We can do that now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yep, excellent. Uh, takeoff warning tested. Okay, Where is the takeoff yes. warning? It's, it's down by me. It's by my okay. left hand side. I did that when we were stationed. Oh, that's fine. Uh, yeah, we didn't get any, any noise at all. So. Uh, N top is selected. That's good. Flight instruments we have checked. Hydraulics. We have. We did check full travel. Um, your damper is on. Checked. Clearances we have received and cabin is clear. Okay. So next is the before takeoff checklist. Uh, Anti-collision light. Uh, we will set that to white, but we'll do that on the threshold. So we'll do the and we'll do the before takeoff checklist on the threshold. Um, so he said alpha one, which is all the way to the end. Yes, it is. So safety breathing, we'll fly. <laughs> yes. Whatever happens, yes. we'll fly. We'll Whatever you do, don't pull a, a, a balance and pull the condition levers all the way down to, to yeah. fuel cut off. That's, your, that's, that, that's you. I shan't touch those. Yeah. Mind you, of course, they're not synced on my panel now because mine's on zero. Oh um, dear. <laughs> okay. So, because you've moved yours, haven't you? And I haven't moved mine. I so. moved mine. Mine are on max, so. Yeah, mine are on off. Obviously, oh dear. Okay. Well, we'll we'll, we'll so, get there. We'll get there. If I, if I don't move, then they'll they'll be fine. Yeah. So okay. Before them. takeoff checklist, anti-collision light. Let's turn that to white. Landing lights. Let's put those on. Uh, Peter, static isolation valve on. Yes, checked. Uh, bleeds as required. Bleeds are on. That's good. GA heading and out cell. Uh, we've got those as set. Caution panel and warning lights is uh, all off except the parking brakes. We're good for the before takeoff checklist. Okay, let me just uh, call ATC when I get the space. London Control, Jersey 1544, on the ground at East Midlands, ready for takeoff, runway 27, uh, uh, or ready for lineup, shall I say. Clear takeoff, runway 27, Jersey 1544, thanks. All right, cleared to go. Look left, look right, all clear. And... Uh, all our lights are on. We're all good to go. 
control, very good. <coughs> it's very yellow looking. Alpha, yellow yeah, building like bits. Ah, uh, IKEA box in front of us, doesn't it? Yeah. With, it's the, cool. with the shades of grey going up. Yeah, yeah. This is a nice uh, scenery, isn't it? It is a nice, very nice, high, very good quality textures. Okay, rolling start. Um, Gus lock is off. And you are good to go. Okay. I'll call 80 knots. And uh, power is set, checked. Condition levers max. 80 knots. Checked. V1, rotate. Positive rate. Gear up, please. Gear up, selected. And 400 feet, props to 900, please. Props 900. IAS 210. Oh, I can't see the IAS changing. You're going to have to change that. Yeah. Yeah. I can't see that changing on the PFD. So the, the, the connection between us did... It kind of works, but it doesn't work yeah. properly. Which is weird. And autopilot is in. You've done that. Yeah. And I'm going to select nav. Sweet. And we have, an, we have LNAV capture. Sweet. I can't see that, but uh, you could probably... Yeah. You could probably have a look on my stream and see see what mine all looks like, but it's um, I've got enough to do for yeah <laughs> yeah okay uh, and flaps is set to up yep. flaps yeah we passed it accelerate passing out to do three thousand for Jersey one five four four Jersey one five four four thanks climb now level two trees right route direct Compton Charlie Papa Tango climb flight level two three zero route direct Compton for Jersey one five four four thanks. Okay, so I can set the altitude there. And I'll do the direct Compton then. Copy. Thanks. See, when we do get the connection done properly, then it's an absolute dream. Yeah. Uh, did you get those gear pins out? Yes, we did. <laughs> yeah, we checked that very first thing. <laughs> first thing we checked, Savvy. Good to see you. Yeah. Thanks for reminding us after, afterwards, not before, afterwards. I, I, I took, I've taken note of that, Savvy. Thank you. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're uh, we need to go. Okay, so. L nav, but we are going directly. <coughs> Yeah. After so takeoff, yeah, FMC. yeah. After takeoff checklist, landing gear is up, flaps zero, bleeds are on and set to normal now. Uh, climb power is set. After takeoff checklist complete. Climb checklist. Altimeter is set to standard. He did climb. Uh, he did clear us to two three zero. So I'll set the alt altimeters to one zero one three. One zero one three set and cross checked. Um, passing, passing flight level uh, eight. Or well, passing flight level zero eight. Coming now, coming set and cross checked. Yes, <laughs> um, ice protection as required. Pressurization checked. Uh, yep. So we've got the bleeds on, and the pressurization is working. In the, I can see the duct pressure there. That's good. Standby hydraulics and PTU is. They can set. come off. They can come yeah. off. Uh, like yeah, so. We, we, we passed. That's right. Fuel pumps are going off. Yeah, and the auto and feather, auto feather off well. going off. Climb checklist complete. Okay, so we're coming up on 10k. Yeah, so, so, so up above 10k, lights coming off. And the fasten seatbelt coming off as well. 10k, there we go. Freeze. Oh, oh so I, I got a little freeze myself there as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. okay. So, um, and at 10k, do you want the props at 850? Uh, no, 
No, well, okay. we'll, we'll that, that goes all the way up to 15. Okay. Uh, in fact, no, no, 900 for climbing all the way. Yes, so you go to okay. 850 cruise. Okay, okay. It's probably efforts to crew has given me bad habits uh, because efforts to crew would always have the props go to 850 after 10k. Weirdly. Right, again, it, it's, it's, it's an SOP, isn't it? Yeah. I'm sure if you look at other airlines, yeah. they will uh, go to 850 now and have a longer, a longer cruise, yeah. longer um, climb, you know, a very shallow climb. Yeah, yeah. Whereas the fly be, you know, just boot it up there and get it up there as fast as they can. Yeah. Because we're rising at 2,200 feet a minute, which is it's good. pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Good, lovely scenery. I'm really looking forward to flying a lot out of uh, East Mids. Yeah. Um, and uh, biz jets as well. Going. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you have, I don't know that you do, the Falconware um, Dassault Falcon 50? Because that's fully shared cockpitable. I think Sevi. Sevi. Uh, you, you've, you're the one that's got that, don't you? We've got to do some shared cockpit in the Falcon 50 sometime soon. I've done a lot of flying already in the yeah, Falcon 50 and getting used to it. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Uh, of course, your um, display on your side, you were off course on yours now, because obviously I've yeah. changed direct Compton, so but yeah. I'm not going to touch it now, because... Uh, yeah. We don't want to tempt fate. Yeah, your pilot flying, it's it's fine. This, yeah, this is following, it seems seems nice. Yeah. It's, it's, kind, of a, it's kind of there with the main things, isn't it? But it's just some of these display things are not... Yeah, right. just a few things. And I think that's down to the mismatch, the nav, nav data mismatch, it seemed to think. I'm, I'm going to try and flush out and re re-update my nav data after this, just to just to be sure. Yeah. Um, I mean, I've I've updated it, but I just wondered if it's if it hasn't got to the actual majestic because I've it, updated the Navigraph charts, uh, which we, where we get the data from. Uh, that's 15k. So could you um, select a pitch hold, please? So just uh, IAS again. Correct. There we go. Pitch hold. Pitch hold set. And, Thank um, you. So yeah, do you see do you see the majestic dash eight in the list of? of things that have been yes. updated. Right, so do I, okay. Yes, I, um, I do, but, yeah. but whether it actually does it, whether you've got to physically do it somewhere in the software for the... For the I don't think so. It, don't it's know. just, if you go into the... Um, if uh, if I just minimise some things Yeah, it, yeah because it, when, when, when it booted up, when I checked on the FMC, it gave the, re the correct date. Oh, in the okay. Display. Oh, okay. So, um, you know... Maybe my maybe I've got it fine. wrong. Maybe if I go to my add-on mappings. Ah, oh, that's why. That's why I've yeah I've got the wrong mappings. Yeah, yeah. I can see. Ice detector. Can you put some ice protection on for us, please? Ice detector. Oh, I suppose we have got a few wispy clouds around, haven't we? I'm going through. There you go. Um, yeah, let me just change this. Uh, so, sim objects, airplanes, keep it okay. It went to the wrong folder, did it? Yeah, and I know exactly why. It's because I, I uninstalled P3D from my D drive and reinstalled the whole thing on the E drive. So yeah. when things default, when things install themselves, they think that automatically they should go back onto the D drive, and they don't. You know. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, airplanes. Well, after this flight, I will. Um, there we go. Save. After this flight, I will update it, and um, yeah. yeah. Then we should. Actually, I'm going to just update it now. Just going to update it now. Don't do anything now. No. All right. Well, you see, when when we first connected, it would have it would have checked the, the nav data. Yeah, yeah. So it wouldn't be it wouldn't be 
thinking it needs to refresh the nav data at any point throughout the rest of the flight. It's just in that initial really? connection phase. I, I imagine so. I mean, I mean, nav data shouldn't change, so why would it... Um, yeah. It'll, it'll just come into effect next time we, we go to connect. Yeah. So. Yeah, okay, so that's updated, and that's that's good. So next time we do shared cockpit, which I hope would will be sooner than, more frequently than we've done in the past. Yes, um, let's... Yeah. Now, now... Yeah. Are you still in... No, you've moved. No, I, I'm up in... Are you still in Inverness, or have you moved town as well? I've moved to Invergordon. I'm now living in my own house in Invergordon, which is half an hour outside Inverness. Oh, right. So I'm actually okay. half an hour further north from Inverness, <laughs> if you can believe it. Uh, okay, okay. There's still land to, to, to cling on to. Yeah. You're well in the highlands up there. Yeah. 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 We had, uh, we had, oh you'll like this, we had the HMS uh, Prince of Wales aircraft carrier dock in at Invergordon the other day. Really? Yeah, and and wow. it was it was moored offshore my office because my office is on the coast, further up in in the countryside. It yeah. was moored in the Firth of Murray, offshore, just just off off like offshore. I, if you go if if you have Facebook, yeah, if you go to Facebook and you search for my name on Facebook, you'll see my user profile and you see my wallpaper is actually the photo I took of of the aircraft carrier. So. And, uh, I go on your website from time to time to, to, to look at your fantastic a aviation photos. Mm. Well, you talk at the um, the military base. Uh, oh yeah. Used to work. Yeah. They're really good. The heat haze and all that shimmer coming yeah, out of these I jets. Do, I do love the heat Fabulous. haze. Yeah. Yeah. The the photo of the aircraft carrier will be on my personal Facebook page, not not the Mantok Productions one. Yeah. <coughs> okay. So we are. So 1,000 to go. Yeah, 1,000 to go out cell. Um, we've got... So yeah, the speed has dropped. Yeah, speed, speed has dropped. But to keep, yeah. Yeah, to keep that pitch going. So yeah. Keeps the climb going. So that's it. Our position lights should have been on all this time. I just put them on. Yeah. Okay. Um, you got the strobes on there. Yeah, strobes are on, but the position lights I should have put on. They're basically the nav lights. Or yeah, the wing lights, yeah. Left and right wings. Okay, so there's Alt Star. So at this point, I think I can command props to 850, please. Be very careful. <laughs> Eight, 850 set. Yeah. There we are. Now we're establishing in cruise, and our speed should hop yeah. up a little bit. Excellent. Excellent. Yep, and in my sim, I've got contrails. Although the contrails are weirdly offset, like we have an. In you know, I haven't been outside. Oh, that's weird. Have a look outside. That definitely shouldn't do that. I have no idea why that's doing that. If you look I on my sim, contrails. you'll see you'll oh, see right. what the contrails are doing. They're doing weird things. Oh yeah, I can see those. Oh, from one side. Yeah, yeah. it's like. Because oh, no. it's like it's, oh, I mean, yeah. As you change camera, it's kind of weird, kind of stuff happening. That's probably connection issues. Probably ping and connection issues to a certain extent. Yeah. Ah well. Yeah. I've got some some movement of behind me. Mm. Have you got the uh, the extra effects for those? Yeah. The immersion pack. The, yeah. 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 Uh, it's very good. I love the immersion packs. They've uh, they've updated the immersion packs now for the uh, quality wings seven eight seven dash ten or nine. Okay, actually. I don't, no, I don't, ten. I don't, I don't have that aircraft. I don't have that aircraft. Oh yeah, no, I can see. Um, yeah, I can see what's happening now because mine. I've got a, 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 a white cloud behind those, so I couldn't see it before. Uh, but yes, they are. Yeah. Do you know? Yeah. Do you know what I think that is? Look at the wind. 82 knots from the right. But if it's from the right, then you would expect the the contrails the yeah. to go the other way. To, to go to the left, yeah. yeah. And I, I was testing the Dash 8 uh, earlier today in just by myself, and it was still doing that. Yeah. It was still kind of right. going off to one side, so I'm not quite sure what's gone wrong there. 
Yeah. Have a look at the approach frequencies and stuff yeah. and the localizers and all that. But um, one one really beautiful thing, one really beautiful thing, Ian, if you think about it, is that this is the last time we will ever fly shared cockpit with this codec. Yes. Yeah. Maybe maybe next week we could do another stream, a kind of before and after shared cockpit stream. Yeah. Yeah, I'd really enjoy that if 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 you're up for it, you know. Yeah, oh, absolutely, yeah. No, oh, fine. here we go, here we go. Uh, turn left heading 250 degrees. Wait, why did he say that to me? Oh, no, he, he, he sent it to the wrong person. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sorry. We've still got 20 yeah. miles. He, he was, he, he just tried vectoring us to an ILS. <laughs> By accident. Okay, so 110.3. Oh, that's us. Sorry. Yeah, Jersey one whiskey in two six. That's what I'm expecting. Uh, say again for uh, Jersey one uh, five four four. Jersey one five four four. Expect Jersey one whiskey arrival runway two six. Expect Jersey one whiskey and arrival two six. Jersey one five four four. Thanks. Excellent. Yeah, so that's, that's what you're what expecting. I, that's what I yeah. That's I'm good. expecting a print. Excellent, excellent. Just Aviation, so excited for the new codec. So am I. So am I. I cannot wait. Literally another 48 hours. Actually, yeah, another 48 hours and we're there. This is the last 48 hours of this codec. Isn't it, it's be behaving itself reasonably today, isn't it? I, mean, I can the codec. understand what's going on there. So, yeah, well, so far. Yeah. Sometimes it's really awful, isn't it? Uh, earlier in Amsterdam, my goodness, it was... It oh, was, right, I didn't catch yeah. it. In the... But then that's, that's Dutch accents on top of that, which just makes it... Yeah. Like, one thing I'm really looking forward to is flying in, in other parts of the world where I wouldn't usually because their accents are so thick sometimes. It's, it's not their fault. Yeah. It's just the codex so horrible. Um, looking forward to some Norwegian uh, flying, listening to the beautiful Norwegian accent. <laughs> Okay, so one one zero decimal three zero to the ILS and the course is two six four degrees. Right. So that's all in. I would normally do it on both sides, but um Yeah, that's fine. Feeling I don't want to bother your yeah, side. Don't worry about it. Uh yeah. Because you get the dual Uh huh. Yeah. Uh autopilot's working together, but as it's not connecting very well, I'll, I'll just leave it at my side. Yeah. Uh, right, so that's in. Uh, course and frequency are in. And it's ILS, and I'll put it in both sides. I would really like to become a VATSIM controller once the new codec goes live. Yeah, you'd like to do that. I, I, I think that'd be fun to, to do. Yeah. Yeah. Go for the training. Yeah. Yeah. And and just get really good at um at uh, get really good at controlling a nice small local airfield for GA aircraft. Yeah. Just just aviation says uh, have 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 I ever flown to Gothenburg? Um, I've flown past Gothenburg in real life on my way from Norway down to Malmo in a DA forty two. No correction, a DA forty. But uh, I don't. I've never flown to Gothenburg in the sim. I don't have any scenery for Gothenburg either. So I've flown into Copenhagen many times in the sim, though, and uh, into Torps on the food and uh, Oslo Gardermoen um, 
uh, not Todden, uh, Bergen, um, Trondheim, um, Tromso. Um, I wish they'd update the scenery for Longyearbyen as well, because I'd love to fly up there in the in the 737 uh, in V4, but they haven't done that yet. <coughs> yes. Now we've been given direct Compton, which we're on. Yeah. When we get there in six miles, yeah. do we automatically pick up our flight plan again and just carry on? Yes. In in IFR, that's that's assumed and expected. Yeah. ATC expect you to continue your flight plan route unless they tell you otherwise. Yeah. From otherwise, Compton. Yeah. That's what I yeah. Because we've had, you know, yeah. Because normally, if you're giving a direct two, yeah. like a heading, you stay on it. Yeah. And don't yeah. turn off until the tell you. Yeah. But in this case. As soon as we get there, we're back on our normal uh, flight. Yeah. So, so essentially, w in an IFR situation, when you file the pre pre plan f flight plan, um, when an, they when a, yeah, they know exactly where you want to go, and so when they tell yeah. you direct Compton, they expect that you will go from your current position direct to Compton, and then from Compton then on, and then, and on, then on you will as continue. Well. Um, as filed, yeah. Yeah, as filed. Some nice controllers might say. And after Compton, resume on navigation, but that's not that's not really, yeah, that's just that's just assumed. Not, not, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Quite sure. The only situation you might get is when you are say VFR and they they say direct a VRP or direct. They might use they they might use a VOR. For some reason, I don't know why, but but in a VFR situation, when you have not filed a flight plan, then in in a situation where you're being vectored, they would have they would ha they have the responsibility to continue vectoring you somewhere until they tell you resume on navigation. Um, but usually in a VFR situation, when you don't you haven't filed a flight plan and you're just say flying up the coast they will they will say resumo navigation and from that point on in yeah. in a um, flight following navigation situation they would assume that you just go off and do your own thing I've just done the VNAV path down to uh, okay. our ND, uh, well it's a VOR, it's, a Jersey, it's the Jersey 1 VOR, so we go right over the airport and then nice. out around the back. But they'll nice. probably vector us off anyway, we yeah. won't need to do that. Just uh, aviation. We've got a top, a top of descent in 85 miles, 17 minutes. Okay, so lovely. Back. I see uh, we've got uh, a triple seven off the nose, uh, 9.5 nautical miles traveling uh, left to right. You can see him visually. Oh, is he? Yeah. Visual. Just Aviation says, that's oh, yeah, my yeah, yeah. that's my home airport in real life and where I'll start controlling first. Nice. So Just Aviation, are you learning to control on Vatson? Oh, lag, low. lag spike. That's some, that's some airport loading in or other. So why didn't that aircraft pop up on the TCAS? Is he too far away? Um, oh, no, no, he no, he isn't. Yeah, there he is. I see him. Yeah, we're just, I'm just too zoomed in. I'm zoomed in too far. Yeah. Yeah, I should zoom out now. So he's 2,000 feet below. Yeah. Right to left, just yeah. after Paris. That's That's accurate, yeah. There he is, hey. That's very nice. And then we've got someone on the left. On the far left, coming in as well. He's uh, below us as well. Let's see, uh, two thousand three hundred feet below. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm there. Oh, right, right below us. Yeah, right yeah. crossing. There, are, that's all the heavy oh, traffic all coming all out from that's Heathrow. All coming out of Heathrow, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, going yeah, yeah, across yeah. the pond. Tom, one eight three Bravo, descent level eight today. It's interesting, isn't it? Watching the other stuff. Yeah. You s when you fly, you're so focused on what you're doing, you, you don't really look at that. Yeah. Unless it goes red and you have to make an alteration. Yeah. That's really cool, Just Aviation. Um, let me know how that goes. Definitely let me know how that goes, because I would be interested in um, doing some ATC training on VATSIM once the new audio codec goes live, maybe in the UK somewhere.
maybe Inverness. There's not very much ATC on in Inverness, and so maybe that's a nice place to to do some some training. Um, Right, uh, the first time I've got your stream up Excellent. on my iPad, you can see what you're seeing. Yeah. Going over Southampton, I've got frame rates down to about 18, 19 FPS. Okay. And then it goes up and becomes very smooth once once we get out of the water towards Jersey. Yeah, I've seen your project fly pop up just then. Yeah. Oh no, it's gone. Yeah. Is it gone? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Back, I see. Back on there. Yeah. You're, you're in for a second or two. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Last time so on this codec. Was be yeah. Yeah, because uh, um, you, you didn't have it set up. So that's why. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so other other than that, we're absolutely fine, aren't we? Yeah. Working. Yeah. It's working perfectly. Other than that. So uh, next time we do shared cockpit with the new codec, we shall be perfectly fine. It will well, be like. We gotta fly back, haven't we? We want to do the reverse. Yes, yes, uh, we have to do that. Uh, uh, well. Yes, we'll have to do the return flight um, with the new codec and. Yeah. Really looking forward to that. Yeah. Traffic at East Midlands there. <laughs> Oh, there is now, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Iceland. It's a Boeing 757. I didn't know the 757s landed at, at Nottingham. I will look forward to to landing there in my Captain Sim. Right. In my Captain Sim 757. It's a big. Um, it's a big freight uh, area airport. That isn't it. All the car, all the DHL cargoes go in there, don't they? They do. Is are they the 757 DHL cargoes? I, I don't know what they are, but I, I, I would guess they are. Yeah. The, that's why it's got the long runway. and can take the big jets. Ah. Oh. Okay. It was nine over nine thousand feet. Yeah. Yeah. I see. And it's not. It's not much longer than than Heathrow at ten, isn't it? I mean, it's you know. Oh, is Heathrow ten? Ten. It's ten, isn't it? Heathrow. All right. Ten thousand. That's not much. Not much shorter. Yeah. Object 1X3, Bravo, fly heading 20 degrees, descent altitude 4,000 feet, Q and H at 1,007. Was that heading up to 20 degrees? Correct. So we're three miles from Southampton. Yeah. 200. Yep. Have you got the uh, UK 2000 scenery for Jersey? Yes. Yeah. Yep. So have I. <laughs> I've got every UK 2000 scenery airport. Wow, nice! And I've got I've got every Orbex product for P3D. Wow, every single one. Every single one. Yeah, wow. all the regions, all the all the globals, and every airport. Wow, every single. That's one. quite a collection. I've got I've and got more than I. I haven't even been in. Yeah, I've got more than I would care to admit, but not all of them. Yeah. Yeah, I've got all of them. yeah, there are some airports up in Norway that I've only flown to once, like uh, Songdal, and um, and I've only flown to them a couple times. And I, I really, really, now that I've got the new graphics card, really looking forward to, to flying them again on stream with VATSIM updated. It's going to be a blast. Yeah, yeah, I, I, and it would be great when Majestic, these guys here, bring out their Q300. Yes, it, yes, the, the, the ones that can can actually get into those airports. Exactly. Because this one can't. No. This one can't get into yeah. a lot of those um, Orbex ones, so yeah. we can't do it. Yeah. Yeah, I I totally agree. I mean, I don't know when they're going. It's taken them no. so long, but. Yeah, just, they're just they're aviation. Working. Just aviation says, do you, do you have the Carinado Fokker 50? If you have, is it any good? No, I have the Dassault the Fokker 50. No, sorry, not the Fokker 50. No, I don't have that plane at all. Sorry, no, I don't. Uh, uh, yeah, really looking forward to those um, 
Dash 8 Q300 Ooh, flights for Vidra. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> how, f how close are you to uh, TOD? Uh, let's have a look. You too, bye bye. Of uh, 11 minutes, 53 miles. Okay. Um, probably be getting fairly close to the edge of his airspace by now. He'll probably. Uh, we'll probably start descending before he hands us off. Um, yeah, is he. Um, is this London Center? Yeah, London Control. Oh! It just says London Control. Center, yeah. yeah. Because if it's just London Control, if he does west as well, then we'll have him all the way down. All the way down? Yeah, because if he's London Control, then that's the whole whole of the UK, isn't it? Or the whole of England. Yeah, but Jersey's in, in Brest Control. Yeah, no, I think, I think that's... Mm. Okay. Down there. But we'll see. Yeah. Two eight eight seven five eight three three Lambourne heading two six five. So let's do a fuel check. Mhm. Temperatures are all good. Yeah. That's all good. Steady on the pressure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what's the. Uh, that's what I can do. Have a look at the pressure in Jersey. EG. Just turning off the uh, the icing, of course. We didn't really oh, yeah. need that on for so long, but that's fine. Yeah. Turn it off now. So it's 2.7, uh, two that's what we're expecting. 190 at 12. One zero zero seven. Tomjet one X ray Bravo V ten altitude three thousand feet. Uh, have you got the um, localizer freak for um, Jersey? Yep. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, uh, yeah one one zero point three one one zero. Copy. One one zero decimal three. I've put it in both sides, and it's two six four for the course. So that's zero three nine. I've got my charge. Two six three for the course. Yeah. Now I came in here yesterday. No. Yes, I came in uh, yeah, here yesterday. Two six four it is. Oh, I've got a Giuseppe chart that says it's two six three, but okay. Oh, and this one says two six five. Oh, it depends. Hang on. The NDB DME runway two six says two six three. The VOR DME runway 26 says 265. The RNAV says 263. The VOR ILS, which is the one we're doing, is says 263. Yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah. not sure about that. But then, yeah, wh whatever. It's fine. You're flying, so. And by that stage, it's yeah. absolutely visual. Yeah, pretty much. At least it should be. Let me check the weather in uh, Jersey. Yeah, I've just had a look at it. Oh, okay. It's it's cloudy. But ten ten miles viz. <coughs> yeah. One one zero zero seven. Yeah. So just aviation. Just aviation. Um, if you're asking, is Navigraph worth it? Let me ask you. Do you fly any aircraft add-ons that are commercial aircraft that fly mainly IFR? Or do you only fly GA aircraft? Actually, Navigraph Charts is helpful for GA aircraft as well, but... Because the reason I ask that just aviation is when I click on Navigraph oh, here, I can search for any air, any airfield in the world and pull up instantly um, real-world accurate charts and navigation data for the stars, for the approaches, for the, for taxiing on the airfield, for your SIDs, and then reference stuff, noise abatement, radar minimums, you know. It's a very good resource. If you want to 
be flying online on VATSIM in a realistic environment and it, when ATC tells you fly direct to so and so, you'll have a chart to your hand that you'll, you'll be able to look at and go, ah, oh, I can see what he's doing. You know, yeah. it, it is helpful. Yeah. It's, it's not mandatory. If you're online. If, no, if you're, yeah. You, you can't fly a SID or a star without it. No. Uh, I suppose you can if it's in your FMC. You just um, put the numbers to do. But, but for really visualizing them. Yeah. For visualizing what the aircraft is doing, what you're asking it to do. Yeah. Uh, because it, uh, it has been known that um, uh, the FMC flight plan goes wrong sometimes. It has some funny way, waypoints in weird waypoints. Yeah, and you'll be able to see on a paper chart yeah, or digital it chart what it should be. Yeah, uh, and then when you look at your your actual one in your FMC, if it's not quite right, you'll know there's an issue. So here's one, Peter. Um, yep. Obviously, we're 30 miles from the Lelna. The top of descent slightly before then. Um, do we get clearance to descend, or just do we descend when, when we get to top of descent? We, because we're under control, aren't we? You, yeah, you should. We should ask for. Should ask. Um, we should ask for request to descend. Um, yeah. I'll see. So you say 30 nautical miles. Yeah, it's 30. Uh, okay. Yeah, let me just get the. Uh, I can get the, the real. Exact to it. Okay. Yeah, it's at 23 miles, 4 minutes. All right, so. 23 miles exactly. So it's just before Lelna. So, so we're, when, we're, when we're 10 miles away from TOD, I'll call in Art and yeah. request descent. Oh, here we go. Contract 1X through Bravo, turn right heading 020 degrees. Right, 020 degrees. It's not for us. Well. Jersey one five four four one ready descent flight level one three zero. Oh, well, that was. was when ready descent flight level one three zero. Jersey one five four four. Okay, so he said when ready, yeah. which means we at our leisure. And what was the descent? What was it? One one three zero. I'll I'll pop that in. Oh. Uh. So. One three zero out cell. Uh, I love flying the commercials. PMDG seven three seven, PMDG seven four seven, quality wing seven eight seven. If you do love I flying those aircraft, the cell. I oh, seen the out cell pop up. Okay, push it for you because you're flying. So there it is. Push it it's for yourself. Up. Yeah. Okay. Um, I would. I would recommend the charts. I I assume just aviation that you have the nav data. Um, for all, to sync all of the nav data, update the nav data, all of those aircraft. Um, that's that's very very helpful. Because then, if you don't have updated nav data for your aircraft FMCs, you're running on on nav data that's from like 2013 or something ridiculous. So I'm sure you have that. I assume you do if you've invested in those aircraft. When you when you buy a subscription to the Navigraph nav data, I think. Your subscription to the charts comes along in in that price. It's like eight euros a month, I think. Right, I'm going to start taking us down then. Okay, just I'm just going to do a cabin PA. Ladies and gents from the flight deck, uh, Peter Math is just uh, back with you at the top of our descent. Uh, please feel free to just uh, get back to your seats and sit down and. Um, even if we don't have any turbulence, it's always a good idea to pop your seatbelt on. Um, as we descend through 10,000, I'll have the seatbelts on. We do have a cloud layer today, so we will be um, expecting some a little bit of turbulence. Uh, but we should be on the ground uh, relatively shortly in the space of uh, 15 minutes. So uh, I will see you back on the ground. Thank you very much. Here we go. Nice. Well, thank you. Um, do we have a cabin PA button? Oh no, we did. Well, no. Yeah, there is. Yeah. The third one down to the F, uh, below the um, radio. Yeah, I was just looking for one up up at the top near the faster seat belts that that just pings that lets the cabin crew know that we're descending.
Yeah. Yeah. Flash the uh, seat belt sign. It makes the noise, doesn't it? Or flash the no smoking sign. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So do you have the um, the VNAV ladder? VNAVs. Yeah, I've got I've got the flag. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. You're following that. That's good. But obviously, yeah, I'm, I'm underneath it now because we're, we're not we're not uh, officially there yet. Yeah. But I've only dialed in a thousand feet uh, a minute, so we're going to have a slow. Yeah. Uh, v there is. <laughs> Taking a little bit of power out as well, so we don't overspeed. V there fun uh vidra flying is fun they will start flying their new embraer e2 to gothenburg soon instead of the q400s nice i do know that um vidra was amongst the first to order those new aircraft nice looking aircraft as well nice looking aircraft as well very efficient looking aircraft Okay, so checklists. Descent checklist. Pressurization. Set. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's um, zero feet at Jersey, isn't it? So yeah, pretty much. Uh, GPWS flaps as required. So that will be 15. Yeah. yeah. Uh, briefing, MSA, speeds, DH and MH, MDA. That's going to uh, be well, 200, roughly. Is it, is, it, is it really zero at um, Jersey? I seem to think Jersey's up. It's on an island, so it's up maybe f 20. F oh, well, let me, let me double check the charts here. Uh, airport elevation, 277. Two seventy. Runways two seventy. Yeah. So uh, if we call decision height uh, two seventy, what four seventy for the decision height? Yeah. Okay. Not sure two five zero London control. Hello, it's four six one eight three Bravo arrival. I am subscribed to the annually FMS data and was considering changing to both the data and the charts annually. If you've got those those three aircraft you you mentioned, um, I would recommend it, particularly if you're flying those aircraft on Vatsim. Um, when you want something reliable to look at, say if you're taking if you're given taxi instructions at Amsterdam, you know, and and you want a, a current reliable chart to look at and say okay I can see where he sent me it's it's and and the fact that they they're updated all of them are, are updated and refreshed it's and they're just seppin charts they're not just some old random thing that's been cobbled together in someone's backyard garden just seppin charts are real world charts that the real pilots use in the in the industry but these have been taken and um I don't know if they've tweaked them at all, but they're not supposed to be used at this price for real-world aviation, at least. I know that. Uh, so that's the descent checklist complete. Uh, we Can you give me a, an approach uh, speed, please? I'm afraid I don't do... I don't have the capacity for approach speeds. What I do do, though, is I set flaps 15 and I I fly whatever speed it's it's roughly 130 to 135 but but okay. I usually judge my approach speed based on my angle of attack yeah. <coughs> I usually have the nose just above the horizon um, indication coming in um, so that I'm coming in at a, 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 a little bit of a nose up attitude, like one or two degrees. Oh, yeah, uh, is that us? Yeah, that's us. Yeah. Okay, I said so in chat. So. Descend 5,000 feet on QNH 1006, he said, so let's just cross check. Contact 
One zero zero six set and cross checked. Yeah. Out seller selected, five thousand set. We'll go to the approach checklist once we get further down. My voice is pretty much done at this point. Got France off the left hand bow. Yeah. No worries, just aviation. Let me know how things go. I use the Navigraph charts even when I'm flying GA aircraft. Because <coughs> in GA aircraft, you're dialing in localizers and glide slopes into the nav one and you're you're receiving taxi instructions from atc and you're taxiing around and you want to just you want a, a chart you can grab and quickly tab to that that tells you where you need to go so okay hmm. So, on the ground, apparently, in six minutes. Wow. That's what Project Fly is saying. Okay. Depends how their vector is in. I'm expecting a left turn out somewhere to come back in, right? Right, okay. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Or if we, fall, if we fly the full procedure, then obviously we go straight to the airport, across it, teardrop out. Oh, 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 coming down through 10,000 feet and we're above 250 knots. Need to, need to yeah. slow down. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I just caught that. Coming down through 10,000, lights going on, and fasten seatbelt going on. <coughs> no, no faster than 250 knots under 10,000 is the golden rule. Excellent. Yeah, I'll do the approach checklist while you're getting ready for the approach. Thank you. When when we come down through five thousand feet, I'll do the approach checklist. Yeah, you could put the pumps and all that stuff on. Um, get that out of the way if you want. Dem pumps. Dem pumps. We don't need the auto feather. That's only for takeoff. Copy. But we do need the hydraulic controls. Stand by, that's it. Yeah, gotcha. And then when we get further in, leads to minimum. Copy. Oh. That'll, that'll do the overhead. And I quickly dropped to 230, it's not a problem. No, uh, slowing down is never a problem in the dash. No, no. One of life's great, great beauties is the Dash 8. One of the seven ancient, the seven wonders of the ancient world. <laughs> hey Kai, good to see you, how you doing? Yep, yeah, doing well, thanks. It's interesting, we got a red bar yeah. pole at 240 now. Yeah. Mm. Are we still on the uh, VNAV ladder? Yeah. Okay. Oh no, no, we're we're we're, um, we're not. Uh, we're below the profile. Yeah, we could probably just flatten out a descent just to bring the speed down a little. But yeah. Well, we're going to we're going to slow down anyway soon because we're. Almost on uh, 5,000. Yeah. Okay, he might give us more more instructions soon, so I'll keep an keep an ear out for him. Yes. <coughs> Excuse me. Looking forward to the new codec, Kai. Roger, five minutes, and when ready, defense flight level 200. Roger, ready, 200, ready, defense flight level 200. So that's Altstar, 5,000. 
Copy. QNH1006. I'm just listening out for more instructions here. Yes, for, for the instructions, yeah. Copy, Marshall, just in case you're out of it already. Uh, Rockhead. Uh, QNH1006. In the cloud. Uh huh, so am I. Uh, confirmed, Rockhead. Yeah. Correct. Goes 375 Golf when ready, descent flight level 170. Sorry. Hello, 45 Charlie Papa, descent flight level 9. Sorry. Come on, mate, give us give us some instructions here. Jolly Papa. Are you going direct to the end of the ILS? Um, oh, degrees, Turn left heading one four zero degrees, uh, descend three thousand feet, uh, Jersey one five four four. Jersey one five four four negative two thousand feet. Descend two thousand feet one uh, five four four. Thanks. Okay, I'll set that. Runner 5 Tango, descent altitude 5,000 feet, QNH, Jersey 1006. Alt cell selected. Descent 5,000. Thank you. Runner 5,000, QNH 1006. That's what I expected, the left turn. Yeah. Go to 3B9, I descent flight level 1 today. And, uh, VS down. Okay, so approach checklist. Let me just run through this while he's before he calls us back again. Yeah. Ultimeters uh, have been set and are cross-checked. Let's just double check. Um, 1006 set. Excellent. Fuel transfer is off. Fuel pumps are on. Standby hydraulic and PTU are on. Hydraulics on. Normal. Checked. Passenger signs are on. Caution and warning lights are clear. Cabin is clear. Approach checklist complete. Okay, I've switched my nav source to the ILS, so I've got the beacon up. Excellent. Oh, I see that on your side, at least. That's a good thing. And the glide is popping up as well. Yep, I can see that too. Alright, this is all you. It's your time to shine. <laughs> Kai yeah, just can't see a thing out the window. Yeah. <laughs> Kai says uh, two thousand. I'm told. Yeah, two thousand. Oh. Turn right, turning three zero zero degrees. Turn right three zero zero degrees. Jersey one five four four. Okay. Right to three zero oh, zero. he's we've blown the we've blown the localizer, but I'm sure he'll he'll yeah he's taken us through the loc and he's bringing us around the other side of it. Bringing us back. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Kai says, got the email about the codec changes, can't wait to hear them. It's been a few months since I started training to become a controller on VATSIM. Really need to get back to, to it. Oh, you're also training. Um, if you look up in the chat above you, Just Aviation is also training to be a VATSIM controller in, uh, in um, Sweden. I would like to train as well in the UK somewhere. Right, Peter. Yep. Can we have some sterile, please, now? Indeed. Um, yeah. Is, is that right? No, 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 no. You, you are completely right in I'm saying so. Yeah, I was I'm about to, to, I was about to sterilise myself. Uh, yeah. Th thank you very much. No, that's the wrong thing to say, yeah, but yeah. So, two, <laughs> okay. Two thousand out. Star. Two one five four four on the heading. Clear dialer. We're on the way two six. Clear dialer, sir. Runway two six, Jersey one five four four. Okay, he's cleared us the ILS. Five, tango, Lights are on. Okay, call your flaps when you want them. Yeah. Okay, and we're flap five, please. We're below the speed. So Flaps five. Lovely scenery. Two 
want to kind of looking for the few months in a con one two two that's my and uh, gear down please gear coming down once he gives us landing clearance i'll turn the taxi light on yeah and we have the localizer captured down three greens one, two, two, right. Right. Yeah. more flaps 140 flaps 10. and lowing lowing yeah flaps 10. yeah watch that speed yeah 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 you got it uh oh oh props need to go max yeah Drops, max. Flaps 15? Yeah, flaps 15. Flaps 15. Okay. Landing checklist. Ice protection. Okay, hang on. Uh, clear to land runway 26, surface wind. Uh, we copy that, thanks, uh, Jersey uh, 1544. Okay. Clear to land runway 26, tax light going on. Landing checklist. Ice protection is set. We don't need it. Landing gear is down, three green, checked. Condition levers are max, checked. Flaps set at 15. Bleeds, min. Bleeds, uh, bleeds are min. Landing checklist complete. Thank you very much. It is all you, sir. Got the clearance yet. Uh, yeah, he, he gave it to us. Oh, right, he so gave us clearance to land, yep. Clearance to land. Thank you. Ooh. Yeah, a little bit high. Yeah, that might be a go around. On the heading, one established localizer, two seven left, descend with the contact. Are you are you thinking go around? Uh, possibly we're yeah. quite fast, aren't we now? Quite fast and high. Well, we'll see. We'll get down to minimums and. We'll yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's going to be a go around. Yeah. It's alright. We'll, we'll do a go around. It's fine. Yeah, I'd, I'd call that. Yeah, I'd call that go around. Yeah, I'd call it too fast. Too fast. Yeah. Too fast by far. Well, it's up to you. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Boom. There we are. I love it. Not going round for goodness sake. Everyone in the chat, give it a give a hand for Ian there. That was brilliant. I love it. <laughs> okay. Gas lock up. Flaps up. Okay. Rolling out. Let's, uh. Yep. Yeah, flaps up and, um. Set, it's all set. Yep, it's all you, mate. Keep her rolling, keep her lit. Alright, after landing oh, checklist. <laughs> Keep it, keep it going. Beta range. Yeah, yeah. I'll run through the after landing. Uh, control lock is on. Anti collision is on. Red flaps are up. Weather radar. Let's put that on standby. Or yeah, standby. Uh, fuel pumps. Let's go off with the fuel pumps. Uh, fuel pumps. Uh, flight taxi is on. Taxi ice protection is off. That is correct. Oh, we turn this one on. Uh, main bus tie. Let's go and tie that now. That's right. And, and uh, your damper is off. The, fire up the uh, fire APU. up the old Apu. Okay, Apu's coming in. And I need a stand. I need a stand. All right. Uh, let's give you. Are we still under control? E well, we are, aren't we? We, we are. But once now we're on the ground, he's not going to pay any attention. He's got all of all of the UK to deal with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So let's just choose our own stand. Uh, should we say stand eleven? Stand eleven. So I can I can guide you okay. to stand eleven. So yep, I've got charts here. Yeah. Charts. So uh, we okay. go into the apron, <laughs> turn right, on yeah. the Juliet round into eleven. Yeah. Well, that was a lovely flight, Ian. 
That was uh, that was, was excellent. Good. Yeah. It was good to renew it and say goodbye to the codec. Oh yes. Yes, I, I will. I will make a formal announcement on the ATC channel that that we wish the old codec. Yeah. Well, we've done our last one. Object zero three nine. And it was a good one to finish one. Yeah. We made use of it all the way down. That's right. Flight level 8 0. Flight level 8 0. Uh, Comfort 13. It's amazing how much power you've been in this to go around a corner. Yeah, the inertia. Yeah. And most of the time, the outboard engine will have to go out of beta range for you to, yeah. you know, to, to, to get anywhere. Yeah, if, if you want to be there on time. Yeah. Okay, so that's nine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And eleven. There we go. APU is on. Each two five eight got echo. Uh, one 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 two two decimal eight. Thank you very much. Bye. -bye. And let's just see you get on to the uh, about another another five ten feet there. Well, that's fine. It's a dash eight. You can you can leave it there. All right. I'll go a bit further. Oh yeah, yeah. Just 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 a tad. We want to hit the stop marks, don't we? Oh yeah. Nine eleven control. Hello. Expect Logan one hundred seven arrival. When ready, descend flight level. And there we go. That's good. That'll do. That'll do. Brakes on. Brakes on. All right. Okay. Engines to start feather. Quite. Start feather. Yeah. I think you leave them there for 20 seconds or so. It's 20, 30 seconds. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me just say goodbye to ATC and turn that off so we can think. Yep. Sure. Okay, stand by 375. Correct, you can see the text now. Sky 375 Golf. Defense to altitude 4000 feet. QH at uh, Southampton 1007. Let's open all the doors. Flying 230. Doors open. And request deboarding. Oh, I need to stop. Okay, 406 call, mid Charlie. Break, break. Sky 375 Golf, flight heading 230. Okay, fuel cut off. Okay. Done. Alright, 5 Tango, turn left heading 300 degrees. And that's the last time I hear that codec. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yep, yeah, you've opened. Have you opened the door? No, I'll, I'll open the door. I've opened the doors. Oh, okay. Is it? Okay, that's fine. I don't... You're closing them. Oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry. It you looks open. It, after... it looks open to me. <laughs> anyway. Oh, right. Well, my d display. Anyway, yeah. We're... Oh, no. Anyway. It's all that. So, um, games. yeah, I don't have uh, individual engines first. bound to individual controls, so... Anyway, uh, right, so shutdown, pipe brake is on, hydraulic pumps are normal. Uh, power condition levers, disc. Let's disc them now. Nose wheel steering, off. Weather radar, off. XPDR and TCAS, standby. Standby, bleeds. Yeah. 
minimum or off. We could just turn them off now. GPU and APU as required. We can call up the GPU, uh, but we're, we're shutting down anyway. So we're shutting down anyway. We just conditional levels, fuel off, pasture science off. Lights as required, battery master as required. There we go. Done. Yeah. We are off. Ah, off for tea and medals. Fantastic. That was that was brilliant. Well, thank you so much, Ian, for joining me. It's I'm a pleasure. I enjoyed I'm, it. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get to bed actually fairly soon because it's eight eleven thirty already. So. Ooh. Yeah, I know. Um, yeah, it's that that was fantastic. Good. Thank you for everyone. Let's just see. Uh, Mike transform my home airport. Uh, da, 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 by Kodak. No more sounding like a '90s mobile phone. That is true, Kai. Thank you. <laughs> Ooh, I'm looking forward to my next stream on Vatsim. Anyway, thank you very much, folks. It's been a while now. I've been on the stream, so I'm gonna three hours at least. So I'm gonna just turn the stream off. Thank you very much, guys, and uh, yeah, see you next time. Hopefully, sometime soon.